Okay. There we go. Hey everyone, welcome to the Honored Ones podcast, the greatest podcast on earth. Chat, we're going to be so for real with you. If you're detecting any kind of arrogance or cockiness in our voice, just know BR and I just got off a uh, very riveting Elden Ring session. Um, and we yeah. cleaned up, bro. We, we cleaned up. Like, like one we, try, we both, cooked, both bosses. One try yeah. every boss? Like, come on now. Who doing it like us? Yep. Who doing it like us? Nobody. Um, Dude, like, no heals either, which was... Isn't no that crazy? Heals. Absolutely no heals, bro. I think we one-shot damn near everybody. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. Dude, kind that, of crazy, bro. Th that dragon guy puking his lava all over the place, bro. I was like, yeah. this is your best challenger? That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Um, got the moon veil sword. Yeah. You know how it is. You know how it yeah. is. If you're tapped into the Elden Ring strings, you already, you already know. You already know we cooked. Yep. Um, um but... shout out Lethality for that. Uh, Lethality, if you're here, if you're here, let me see if I could, uh, find it on the fly. I think this will be funnier if I have it huh. in, in the thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Free, right? Free fantasy music. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. You do that. You do that. But, uh, yeah. hope you guys are doing good on this fine Sunday, uh, Sunday what is it afternoon not sunday evening doing a little bit earlier because you know super bowl i got plans creams obviously is a huge fan of football obviously super bowl bro. especially bro i can't um, wait for taylor's you know, boyfriend to clean house man to to score a football who's just keep going bro just let's not do hey, bro. this hey bro my fault bro i, I didn't want to disrespect whoever whoever that is but anyway it, taylor swift it was um, supposed to be like a fucking taylor swift joke. it didn't land all right it's it's fine it's fine it's fine hey bro hey bro hey bro my bad my bad my bad. We we don't we don't know her over here. My fault. Um. But anyways, 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 anyways. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys enjoyed the chapters that came out today. I know I did. Mm -hmm. Um. I definitely. I I I definitely think uh, Weekly Shonen Jump was cooking a little bit of a meal. I think my hero is gone again. Um. Which makes me wonder. You know, if Horikoshi if Horikoshi's all right. Yeah. Um. I'm pretty sure it was gone last week too. My my be my be you know might be getting a well needed break. You know we always say that. Motherfucker drawing fourteen pages, he might, he might need a little bit of sleep. Mm -hmm. Um, so maybe he's finally, you know, he's tapped in. He's decided to listen to us and all of our, all of our infinite, uh, knowledge. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I mean, we got we had Sakamoto days, we had Kagurabachi, we had Jujutsu Kaisen. Mm -hmm. Um, I checked for Blue Luck right up until stream started. I, didn't I did see not any. see yeah. a Blue Luck chapter two fifty one. Um, so I'm just going to assume it's not out and that you guys haven't seen it either. Haven't seen leaks. Don't plan to. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, uh, I guess just to kick it off, we'll get into some great series, series that you would have to be a fool for not reading and keeping up with. Mm -hmm. uh, Sakamoto Days and Kagurabachi. Uh, Creams, right to you. What do you think about these most recent chapters? Bro, peak and peak. What are you talking about? Did you? Yeah, bro, I love when he Kagurabachi uh, all over the place, man. In Sakamoto Days, know. dude, my favorite thing about um, uh, Sakamoto, right, is it's like it's like. It's like he he's like John Wick, but uh, but like fat, bro. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, bro. Go into more detail though. Like, what were some of your favorite? Nah, events? bro. Real Sakamoto D Days fans don't don't do details. Like, oh, okay. that's just not how um, we are, bro. We're kind of like you. You always know me to be a stoic fellow, right? Um, I just uh, can't. I can't be breaking character like that, man. Oh, okay. Mm. Stone face. Anyways, um, Nagumo <laughs> got got the got the elite backstab, bro. Got Suzuki. Now, I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried in the same in the same way that Naguma was, bro. Um, he just he just stabbed him up through his heart. Why he's not dead is a mystery to me, bro. He 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 was efficient. Uh, he he really cooked, but um, I don't know, bro. Sakamoto better get down there quick. I I fear I fear my goat's in danger. Uh, well, one of my goats is in danger. I was actually you know actually Shin coming in clutch, bro. Getting ready to uh. To get a little 2v2 action with an order member, one of the strongest ones at that, bro, I'm so locked in. Shin, Shin is about to show off like crazy. I need that. I need that. I need that. I need that, bro. I need him to lock in for me. Because um, that last spread, that, that 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 javelin catch, cold. Cold. I need Shin to pop off for me. But great talking about today's chapter, as always. Um, yeah. You know? One of the best. Up, just keep it. That's crazy. Um, just keeping up, um, just keeping up the momentum that we've been having for this, uh, you know, for, as the arc's been building up in terms of, like, stakes and whatnot, just been getting more and more hype, so, hmm. you know, good, good on Suzuki, he cooked, he cooked. He really did. Um, and, uh, on to Kagurabachi. Uh, Kagurabachi chapter was pretty good. I think we're seeing, um, in, in Chihiro, some of the revenants of Sojo. 
excuse me, as an antagonist. Like we see him kind of affecting the way he he thinks about the the sacred blades, um, and even just like what he's worried about in terms of his own morality. I think it was pretty cool. Um, I forgot. Let's see. Oh, he, uh, the pursuer's name Hiyuki. Okay, so Hiyuki's the one who pulled up with like the the flame bone shit. Pretty cool. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real off rip. I can see why this. Mm. I can see why they're super strong, um, because I'm not gonna lie, Chihiro kind of he's not getting cooked, but he is he it is it is a light boil, you know what I mean? Maybe maybe microwave. <laughs> a light boil uh, is fucking food. crazy, by the way. I mean, like I mean, like it's it's hot, but I mean it's not like you know, I won't call it a stew, um, mm-hmm. but you know I I need him to lock in for me. I need him to lock in for me, um, right. but I don't know. I, I like the Kagurabachi chapter. It's pretty good. Um, better than the last chapter. Building up some more. I like this depth for Chihiro. I like him, you know. I like him just being locked in, bro. I, I'm I'm happy about this Kagurabachi chapter. It's very cool. Yeah, it was very a great, cool, it, was, it, was, cool. it was a great chapter. You know, truly one of the best. Yeah, bro. Who is your favorite uh, character in the chapter? Just out of curiosity. Well, uh, the 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 guy. The guy, bro. but like, who's who's the guy to you? You know what I mean? Um, the protagonist, really. Yeah, but like, what's his name? You know what I mean? I said it in case you're curious. Chihiro. Hmm. Say say it with some confidence real quick. I just want to I just want to clip that. Just just want to make sure I under, I heard you correctly. Say it with confidence. Chat, you guys are not helping me at all. Oh yeah, my god. Yeah yeah yeah. All right. Anyways, whatever. W press. W press. <laughs> anyway, Kagura Bachi and Takamoto days were good. Um, you should read them if you aren't already. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm locked in. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. Um, um as for yeah. super chats, uh, and three D, thank you for the two. Being late, being this late is great. We were one minute late, brother. Uh, been waiting all late. day we were late bro i don't know why you'd say that i don't know why you just lied to them but whatever mm-hmm. we were on time as we always are um but yeah uh appreciate you appreciate mm-hmm. you jaden 3011 thank you for the five can't donate too much money to this stream good jjk chapter kind of agree it sucks that you just still got to use super curse technique before yuji but they're still the goat <laughs> i didn't even think about uh, that we'll, bro but that, that's we'll that's cool about, yeah we'll talk about it but i don't know i don't know what the hang up i don't know what the hang up about that necessarily is yeah i mean i didn't um, even clock it i just thought it was cool as hell um, yeah. but yeah, um, we'll get to that later. Uh, appreciate yeah. you, uh, Jaden. Yeah, uh, Ashbarian thing with the five jump jutsu kaizen is back in session. Suyukuna versus the versus the what the hell versus the Yuji king of the ring and Yuta curse child of Kotsu. They prove their haters wrong. Stocks up. Hmm. Hey, Amen. Prove their haters wrong is crazy. You know, it may be in the process, but I, I I wouldn't say I wouldn't say you know the transaction has gone all the way through. Suyukuna is still breathing. Um, but I, I will say, I will say, you you just cooking, you just cooking for sure, for sure, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see, uh, Demon Akazu, I think for the two. Gaku is a gamer; he doesn't die; he respawns. Mm-hmm. Hey, Amen. He has zero HP right now, so let's 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 go ahead and see him respawn from his last checkpoint. Maybe he needs a side of grace. Mm-hmm. Um, well, let's see, Jaden thirty eleven. Think for the five. Also, shout out to that one Sukuna Glazer that was absolutely molding over Sukuna, starting to lose his. Oh, dude, I, I saw that guy. I saw that guy on Twitter. Oh my god, dude, I couldn't believe he was dead serious because he was like. Uh, after after the hype died down, let's talk about why Yuta's copy technique is a problem. And he made this whole thread about it. That shit was so funny. I thought, uh, I think it was um, Restless Gambler who was like uh, responding to a lot of it, bro. This guy was dead serious. He made a thread calling Yuta like a fraud, a merchant, how like he's ruining the story narratively. The copy technique doesn't make any sense. He's too overpowered. Yeah, bro. I'm going to be real. I don't care. I'm going to be honest. I don't care. Yeah, no. It's you very you don't go to pulling up and cooking, bro. Like you can listen, man, listen, man, listen, man. I'm all for good writing. I'm all for build up. I'm all for all that. Which I think it applies for you to by Dude, the way. Like, I'm just gonna say this. I'm just gonna say this about that guy, time. right? That's a Kinjaku alt. That's a fucking Kinjaku alt, bro. He's still mad about about dying. Maybe, man, maybe. Um But I I I like the chapter. I don't know. Yuta was cooking. We'll get more into it, like when we actually do our, you know, our usual chapter, like full thoughts and breakdown and whatever. But I thought this was. I'm not gonna lie. I thought this was a very unambiguously good chapter. I thought this was one of those chapters that like everybody would like. I didn't. I. I mean, I guess like you know, as always, like what whatever. If you're a fan of the character that's losing, you're gonna like it less. But I thought this was just like generally a good showing. Sukuna does not look pathetic. Yuta and Yuji do not look pathetic. They just look like. Sukun is on the back foot after being tired and being put in a domain and then being pressed by three fighters. Mm. Like, hey man, oh my god, bro, Sukun is such a bum. Like, I think it's fine to say, yeah, Yuta and Yuji are currently showing um like a more dominant performance, while Sukun is also clearly not like, oh my fucking god, bro, I'm in the dot. Like, I mean, 
I don't know, man. <laughs> Sukuna fans, um, I Get say this go. as someone who 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 was who was on y'all side during the Gojo fight. That's crazy. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't claim that, but sure, you know. I I would because I was right. But you know, as someone who was on your side during the um during the Gojo fight, and someone who doesn't particularly hate Sukuna and actually thinks he's you know he's pretty cool all in all, um, y'all gotta y'all gotta unclench, all right? Y'all <laughs> gotta unclench, man. Sukuna just went on a crazy killing spree. He got yeah. Gojo. He got Kashima. He, 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 he got Hiruma. He yeah. Like he's casually, he just, he can he can start the merger um after killing people. Like, dude, what are we what are we really like? Are we being? Well, I think what are, what we, are we doing, man? Yeah, like like what are we doing, how man? many wins is too many wins at this point? You know what I mean? He, like he he's he stacked up a, a a a larger body count in this like since he's gotten out now, um than he did like in Shibuya, bro. Like in terms of important people. Bro, come on now. Gojo got cooked, man. We got a Kashima got cooked. Higuruma got cooked. He's been making fun of Yuji this entire time. You got to be able to move. You got to be able to roll with the punches. Yeah, That's like, all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Liter literally, how do I say this? Bro, Yuji has not not been insulted this entire fight. Like, like the second he let No, while he was in the air landing, bro, he, like, Sukuna started, like, uh, using dismantle and cleave on his self-esteem, right? Like, I, like, if you want to count that as a victory, you can. Like, like... I just think I just think it's good for Sukuna to be on the back foot occasionally. Yeah. Uh, Jordy, thank you for becoming a member for one month. What's up, everyone? Have we found our real Jujutsu Kaisen yet? Nah, bro. The real Jujutsu Kaisen was the friends we met along the way. Everybody does that. Everybody does that. Yeah. Shadow. Uh, Shadow Star. Thank you for the five, by the way. Jujutsu Tech. So in the mud academically, they got a cheat. Love to see it. This is Gojo as a teacher slander, by the way. Um. Yeah. I mean, I I don't I don't think I don't think a lot of people would be saying that Gojo is like a particularly good teacher of jujutsu like maybe he's a good protector for like the people he takes under his wings but i mean if i think i think you would be able to i think with all of the information we have now you would probably be and it, maybe it can be re recontextualized with the flashback right but i think gojo is like objectively not very good at teaching like even if he's not bad he's definitely isn't like very good at it kusakabe calls him out for it um yuji learned divergent fists which is like probably gojo's like greatest teaching feat mm -hmm. he canonically didn't teach nobara shit he doubly canonically didn't teach maki shit mm -hmm. um he sort <clears> of <throat> he sort of taught megami something in a roundabout way but i think you could you could split that credit between him and sukuna if you want to be a hater yeah it, you can because megami was still about to summon maharaga and then sukuna popped and he's like you know what this evil guy's right bro let me <laughs> lock in so like you you have like two examples by the way he, um, he, him and Megami had, had had a connection for like 10 years at that point, bro. And that was the time that Megami had heard that for the first time. So mm. I'm going to be real. Uh, we Maybe we can get the efficiency stat up a little bit for his teaching skill. Um, so like, I don't think anybody would necessarily disagree that he is not a very good teacher. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't think that worsens his character necessarily. Um, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um uh let's see oh no, i think that's uh also no, rika, Jaden, 30, 11. thank you for the five also rika chucking UG like a football hella funny yeah, yeah very much so yeah. very much so i was like bro um, uh, giga really had a lot of fun paneling this chapter you could really uh see you gonna slash is so stolen from the anime bro yeah God. like bro I, I think you guys saw it in the thumbnail live cooked up for this episode but like those are two different uh perspective things gaya did just this chapter like you know he had fun with this you know he's having fun yeah 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 um See better than All Might as a teacher. I don't know. I'm not as locked in with my hero to be able to like pull feats or anti feats like out of thin air, um, like like off of memory. You know um, what? No, no. All Might is a better teacher because I'm thinking about like the conversation he had with Deku and Bakugo after they fought. Mm -hmm. Uh, about like oh you know your hearts you envied and blah blah blah. It's like nah. He paid attention to both of them. Knows their like strengths and weaknesses and tried to plan accordingly. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and you don't really have to be a great teacher to be better than Gojo. Yeah. Um, let's see. M3, you think about five. Gojo sucks as a teacher, but he does have great feats in facilitating the growth of his students through indirect means. In the sense that, like, he... he here's how I should put this, right? He, he does not baby them. And mm -hmm. for the students that are talented enough or put in the right, like, mindset, yeah, that does a lot of them, allow them to flourish, right? But I will say, um, sort of, like, to his anti-credit, <laughs> like... Hater. If if well let me let me just let me just be honest, bro. If I gathered up twenty talented individuals and and left them all to their devices, three or four are gonna make something out of themselves, right? Mm -hmm. That doesn't necessarily mean I did something great. 
it means the talented motherfuckers did what the talented motherfuckers were gonna do anyways okay that's, um that's fair. like i said it's not like i said it's not that gojo doesn't do anything but it's a mix of like he's busy right he's his own special great shit he's also extremely talented more talented than most of the cast so oh yeah bro learn simple domain what do you mean learn simple domain? just do it yeah. oh bad yeah appreciate you bro that was real that was real that was real helpful like he just what are you not getting really do that shit <laughs> The only thing that he's concretely taught somebody, I think, that we've seen on screen is Yuji's development of Cursed Energy with Divergent Fist. Mm. And you can maybe say it's implied that he would have had to teach Megumi the same thing. But everybody else either knew it coming into it, wasn't in his classes or whatever, or you or like blatant like Maki's like, I've never had a teacher before. Mm -hmm. Yes, you did. He was he was just trash. Yeah. That's why she she got she got better fucking like mental and like combat results from a random like sumo guy in the middle of the cooling games and she got from gojo in her what two years of going to the school like this isn't ranking on gojo as a character he's not worse because he's a bad teacher i think it kind of like it he just is a bad teacher yeah. he's just, he just like he's just he's just bad at a thing you know what i mean mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I, I just think it's not his strongest thing even because Kazakabe was like this guy's a, this guy's like almost too talented to be able to teach anyone else how to do anything yeah he said that yeah yep 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 Yep, 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 yep. So um, yeah, um, that's my goat right there. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I mean, yeah, fair, fair enough, bro. Fair <laughs> enough, fair enough. Um, but yeah, I mean, chapter was cool. We'll get into it more. Um, but let's see, Kagurabachi down, Sakamoto Days down. I guess that leaves um, I, that leaves us to get into Villain Vinland Saga. Saga yeah. Did you see Kaizen? Uh, how far did you? Uh, how far did you get? Uh, I stopped like halfway through volume three, so only like chapter fifty something. Okay, that's not bad. That's yeah, not bad. Uh, but you um, you went like double that. Damn, dude, you you had like a villain saga awakening. I want to hear about this. Amen. I want to hear about this. Hey man, I can't. I can't. Like you, we'll talk about your thing first because I want to. I want to tread lightly on on, on what I talk. I'll about be honest with you. It's just here. more of the. It's sort of more from where we left off last stream. Like same themes. Um, Thorfinn being a fucking brat. Uh, the story telling him, "Hey, bro, this is not the path for you," etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um. I, I don't know, man. Like I'm. It's gonna sound You're in chapter fifty six, bro. Yeah, I, I did. I didn't get a chance to read a whole lot, man. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not mad. I'm just saying you don't. You don't got more based off of chapter fifty six, bro. You seen every like you you. Come on, man. Chuck. You what, what about how you feel about Ashkelad, bro? The like, fucking goat shit po shit popped off bro like i, I feel like there, there are a lot of events that happened in between where we left off and now to where just same same old same old should not be should not be the words leaving your mouth no bro. shit no oh my god i'm such a fucking oh my god my bad chat my bad my bad my, my bad i'm at 46 <laughs> oh my god i'm an idiot fuck me yes very much so bro uh, I, god <sighs> Yeah, yeah you yeah that's on me chat that's on me that's on me and 56 um, would have been such a great place to end too bro yeah fuck okay thankfully i didn't like spoil anything too much by by checking but yeah oh <sighs> yeah this motherfucker is god yeah bro bro just <laughs> dude i don't right, it, it's, it's a hell of a duel it's a hell of a duel like, like my bad you, you, okay, you just go, bro. This this shit's embarrassing. Just just, just go. No, just go. bro. Say say what. Like, listen. You have less to say, so start start off. Okay. Like, you mean basically yeah. the fucking like this fucking duel, man. It's just it's just moving me so far, and <sighs> I think Thorfinn being on the cusp of getting basically everything he wanted with Askeladd with seeking revenge is like it's like tantalizing, and so far Askeladd has made him truly. He's in the process of, of, like, regretting his entire life's, life's choices, right? He's not quite at the line yet, right, as far as, like, where I'm reading. But he's so fucking close, and I can't wait. I can't fucking wait for Thorfinn to have that, like, is that it? <laughs> is that it moment? Um, don't tell me if that, that's actually what it, what it does, but that's that's what I'm expecting. And I'm, I'm just fucking into it, man. Like, this duel so far, look, to quote no op, um... If I wasn't wearing pants, the underside of my desk would be wet. That's a real no up quote, by the way, if you were wondering. Bro, just try to pass off. Bro, bro thought of that quote, thought this shit was hard. No, no, no. I, I made this joke before, time. bro. Like, that's an actual no up quote. I forgot what he said Everybody. it to, but that was like a year ago. I haven't forgotten it. No up, if you're, if you're watching or listening, bro, I know I know what you are, bro. I know I know who you are. 
Yeah. Um. Anyways, you picked really. God, dude, you stopped when he said, "Let me give you my backstory, bro." You stopped. I there. yeah, I didn't have a lot of time, man. You you like yeah, raced bro, the you finish. Didn't have a lot of, you didn't have a lot of time, bro. Between we not just gaming with Elden Ring for like two hours. That was unrelated time. Bro, that was before the stream. You were two out. You could have said, "Hold on, bro. Let me rule one more. Let let me finish this motherfucker's backstory real quick, bro." I right, made whatever. I made the executive decision, bro. Just just keep it push. Just keep it pushing. Uh, anyways, I have to be really vague because he's not caught up. Like extremely vague. Um, a lot happens, shut. A lot happens to the point where like I I feel entirely different about Vinland Saga now than I did before. And you already know that I was like, you guys already know that I was warming up to it quite a bit. Um, I was kind of like tweeting out some of my some of my vague thoughts on um like, like yeah, last night as I was just going through it. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, man. If y'all if y'all were seeing it, y'all were seeing it, man. I, I God, I was locked in, bro. There's something about Vinland Saga that just made me think, like, oh, I understand why people like it so much. It's not hype. It's not like it's not like one of the. It's not a feeling that's so easily explained, in my opinion. It was just like a. It was very much like a realization of why people enjoy the series so much. Yeah, bro. Um, I, I saw you. I saw you Thorfinn's, going through it. Fucking hell, dude. I, I saw. I, I saw Thorfinn's like exploration of like everything that he had that had happened. Um, just just dealing with everything, right? Just just going through the things, like I said, very vaguely that occurred. Um, and you know what I'm gonna do? Seeing him become a better gonna... man as a result of it is like way beer. Feel... It means it means. So, well, let me finish, bro. No, no, no I, so I, I, I want much. you to finish. finish. It's just bro. no. Hold on. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take my headphones off. Nope. You just go. In, you, okay, you can you get into spoilers, thing, bro. bro. You, you can get thing. into spoilers. Just let me know when I can All come right, back. Bro. Just like shoot me a text on Discord. All right. All right. Um, but like, okay, I guess if we're getting into spoiler territory, right? Holy fucking shit, chat. Askelad, going, dude, 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 fucking now. Let me, let me, let me lock in, chat. I was leaning back in my chair. Let me sit up. Let me fucking let me sit up, bro. Let me sit up. Let me sit up. Let me sit up. Askeladd's exit was fucking insane, man. And Thorfinn's reaction to it was equally insane, bro. Oh my god. Oh man, dude. I felt like cause it, it's really crazy too, because like when he when he when he killed the king, right? Um like when when he just when he just did that shit, I was like, oh he's lost his fucking marbles. He just gave into rage. And to realize that even in that moment, he was still like entirely in control. He was still making a gamble. And he was like, he he was still acting within his right mind, being the strategic genius we've seen him from, from the start of the series to now was crazy, bro. God, that was nuts. Um, one of one of the craziest. I, I, I don't even know what I don't even I don't even know what to say, man. I don't even know what to say. And for Thorfinn to come in here and just be like, bro, this is not what i wanted this is not it at all bro ah uh, i felt him i was like thorfinn cut his head off for me bro kill, kill him man kill him man kill him man. and for chapter 54 to be the end of the prologue like everything up to this point has just been like yeah no we just kind of like this this is thorfinn's backstory essentially this is this is just kind of like this is just kind of the setup Losing it, bro. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, man, bro. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, man. Um, very fucking good. Very fucking good. And I mean, uh, a, a whole, a whole video, a whole stream could be dedicated to talking about the shit that happened. Because like, I run through like six or seven, maybe eight volumes of Vinland Saga, all the way up to chapter one hundred and six. Um, so a lot of shit has happened. I, I, I've seen, you know, I've seen Thorfinn. Um. I've seen a lot, bro. I've seen him be absolutely broken. Like the whole the farm art, I think is what it's it's what is what it's called by the community. Insane, bro. Everything that he everything that he's gone through so far and seeing how he's grown because of it, it's it's very special, bro. It's special. It's special. Um Damn. Damn. I ha like listen, here's the thing. I have no enemies was like like uh it was like kind of like a meme, right? It, it was almost like the Nide win where you'd see the panel all the time on Twitter. So like I knew Thorfinn came to that conclusion when I was going into Vinland Saga, but seeing it in context, seeing everything that came with it, uh, like all of all of the surrounding growth and effort that it took for him to come to that moment, to come to that conclusion, um, and, and basically do an entire 180 on everything that he'd been that he had been thinking and feeling up to this point was 
it was special, man. It was special. I was sitting there just holding my holding my face like, wow. That's uh that's crazy. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, I have a lot of my a lot of my uh my favorite my favorite panels and pages from the uh from the series saved. Um but dude, ev everything about this was everything about this read so far has been really good. Um Ascolad, where is it, bro? Go and take those who you killed with you. Fight your true battle. Become a true warrior, Thorfinn. That shit, ooh, that shit was crazy, bro. That shit was crazy. Um, yeah, dude, it was it was insane. It was really really wild. Canute is very interesting as a character to me. One, I will say, his development into like, um, much more of a. Canute is, I will say this, I've come to the conclusion that Canute is an interesting character. Chat, I'm not a big Berserk fan, but let me know if I'm, if I'm, if I'm on the mark here. Does Canute share some similarities in terms of ideals with Griffith, albeit in a much more tasteful way? Like, a lot of the things that Canute says, a lot of the, a lot of the, the methods that he's, he's cool with doing, especially before meeting Thorfinn at the end of the farm arc, feels very... To create a utopia, the ends justify the means, right? And based on my very minimal knowledge um, with Berserk, I would say a very similar thing probably applies um, with Griffith and whatnot. Um, but yeah, man, this shit was. Oh, that this was this was this was this was, this was very interesting, bro. This was very interesting. I will say that one thing I will say that's not a criticism, so you know, don't have to misconstrue it as such, and don't. Tell me how it handles it. I, I just want to go into it blind as I've, as I've been doing with most of Binland Saga, right? So I won't even look at chat for most of this. But one thing I will say is that, like, one issue I have, not with the series, not with the writing, but with Thorfinn's ideals personally, is that it works on everything but systemic levels of, like, oppression or prejudice, right? Like, personally deciding you have no enemies, personally deciding to turn the other cheek, personally deciding to, in any conflict, you know, disregard your pride um, and, like, do the thing that, that harms the least amount of people, you know, keep violence, um, not even just to a minimum, but to zero, right? Um, it's something that I think could definitely be... What's the word I'm looking for? It's definitely useful, and I think that's something that that is that is 100% true and useful on a on a on a person to person level even in small group encounters right but i think when you talk about like systemic forms of oppression right you have like you know systematic racism blah 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 the the i'll run and i'll run and i'll run and i'll run and i'll run to the ends of the earth right to avoid you canute it's like okay that's good in theory but it's one of those things where what happens when there's nowhere to run to? It's kind of it's kind of a criticism I voiced on Twitter a lot, right? What happens, Thorfinn, when like you allowing for violence elsewhere is like like if you're trying to cause a net less violence, when does it you know, when do you sort of have to become like canoe? When do you have to sort of become like the 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 ends justify the means kind of guy? And it's it's very interesting, bro. It's very, very interesting. Um but yeah. Um so I, I'm 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 definitely definitely interested to see where it goes. I think I still think that Thorfinn, while he's his his heart and his soul is in the right place, I don't necessarily believe that he's come to the total right conclusion. I don't even necessarily know what it is myself. Um, I trust that the author will handle this really nicely, as he's been doing for you know everything leading up to this point. But goddamn, goddamn, has this series been really good, man. This series has been really, 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 really enjoyable. Um, I said this also on Twitter. Thorfinn is entering some some real uncomfortable conversations. Bro, 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 looking, bro, looking at some of my goats and saying, "Yeah, no, I'll stand next to y'all, bro." So, some, some of y'all, some of y'all, I, I can, I can. Bro's like, I, I'll step past. So, excuse me, pardon me, type shit. Um, but I, I'm interested to see where Vinland Saga stands and where Thorfinn, um, and even Canute sit as like characters for me when everything's said and done. Um. Uh, but I, I will, I will, you know, chat, brace yourself. Unfortunately, Creams is about to enter chat, or not enter chat, but, like, he's about to come back on stream, so, you know. Uh, here we go. You're good. Okay. Cool, just let him know, just let him know. Um, but yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, 
yeah. I don't I, Vision Man and just a general thing. I don't necessarily know. I I agree that like anybody was forced to do anything in that instance. I have right? returned. Chat, get the tomatoes locked and loaded. Um, no, nice. Right. Yeah, I I caught um, glimpses of that just so I could like just so I uh caught the signal. Um, yeah, bro. Um, I'm sorry, chat. Uh, I think we're gonna finish up Villain Saga next stream at this rate, right? How many? How many is left? Uh, I'm I'm not sure. I mean, it, it's looking like another hundred chapters. So for you, it'd be a hundred and fifty. Yeah. Oh, okay. So two hundred and eight chapters total. I think. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Is that? I mean, you already did a hundred chapters in like what two days? Uh, sure. You're gonna be reading hundred and fifty chapters, bro. Yeah. I mean, in a week. Yeah. Uh. All right. We'll we'll see. We'll see, Jet. We'll see. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm curious, like, do you have a top 10 for protagonists or characters? Or is that just, like, a... Because mm -mm. you said he was in, an, in some uncomfortable conversations. Yeah, no. Not off the top of my head, no. Okay, okay. Do you have, like, a top one that you know? Uh, characters? Yeah, who, who uh... is your... Like, of this tier that Thorfinn is in for you, right? Who's, like, the best of it? Sasuke? Uh, I, I, I don't know if I'd, if I'd, um, I mean, it would go, in terms of his favorite characters composite, it would go Percy, Lelouch, Sasuke, or I, let me rephrase that, Percy, Sasuke, Lelouch, Percy, Lelouch's Sasuke. been bumped down a spot, I haven't rewatched Code Kios in a minute, but, okay, okay. um, he's not, those are untouchable, right now, mm -hmm. at least, um, he's not, he's not, he's not fucking with those guys, but, you know, those guys have also gotten the benefit of a lot of, well, except for Lelouch. Mm -hmm. Sasuke and Percy have gotten the benefits of a lot of nostalgia and a lot of rereads in a way mm -hmm. that Thorfinn currently does not. Um, and also, like, I can finishing see, the series. <laughs> yeah, I can see I can see Thorfinn kind of being closer to, like, how I feel about, um, like, Kaneki, for example. Kaneki's someone that is in that favorite tier, mm -hmm. um, or maybe even, like, Mob. Like, I can see something like that. Those are, those are characters and protagonists that I'm like, uh, oh shit! You're fucking. You're elite. You're elite, 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 right? But my personal investment is is slightly less than how I feel about like those top three characters. You know what I mean? Nice. Um. So yeah. Okay. You know, I think um if we vin if we finish Vinland Saga by next week, um and we do the poll after that, we might uh be able to finish up whatever next series we we got in the line, and then uh, after that we could finally get around to um doing that massive yes, honored sir, ones sir. tier like book club tier list bro we're, we're 300 subscribers away chat from oh, reading that, that's what you're excited about Ugh. we're 300 subscribers away from doing the naruto fucking read through chat yeah i mean you know guys Frames is gonna be a party pooper but guess what i'm a i'm a i'm i'm a handle it chat i'm a fucking handle it don't you worry um, bro the naruto yeah, arc of this podcast like i'm 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 seeing the numbers go up every day uh, for this for this podcast. I think we're on 4,700 uh, last time I checked. I'm just – the sweats have started, bro. Like, once we get to 48 or 49, that's when it's going to be like a uh, – you know, guys. Come Making on. 300 accounts? Yeah, bro. We ain't, we ain't saying nothing against bot accounts. Go ahead, bro. Duplicate. Triplicate. Mm -hmm. or, triplicate is crazy. But, you know, do, do what you got to do, bro. Anyway, for all you Soul Eater uh, truthers out there, I think I think that one might be on the next poll – um, because it did really well against Vinland Saga. I think it was off by like maybe a percent or something. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, but yeah, cool, 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 bro. I'm, I'm sorry, you know, chat. This, this, this one's on me. This one's on me. But uh, I got y'all for next week. Cool, 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 cool. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see real quick. Let me read a super chat that went off in the middle of my my whole Vinland Saga speech. Okay. Um, let's see. Gold changed his name from something something to stop scaring YouTubers, presumably. Um, thank you for the two. We know Creams hates backstories. Of course he stopped. W reasoning. That's crazy, bro. W reasoning. You should have never said that on stream. I'm going to be real. Um, I, I thought this was a safe space. You thought wrong. Jaden3011, wow. thank you for the five. Also confirmed, Yuda's domain works on every curse technique he has but one use per blade rules, mm. but was not expecting the gotcha. He he got a little gambler in him. Mm. Yeah, bro, unfortunately, Hikari infected him. Yeah. I feel you know what's crazy? Close, bro. I, I love the fact that he could just, like, pick his short hit domain, like, differently every single time. Can you imagine the kind of hell it must be to fight Yuta as, like, a serious opponent? You're, like, study him or, or something, and, like, like on some Kinjaku shit, you're like, all right, guys, so he te te technically he has one domain, but he also has, like, eight other domains. So 
just watch out for that you know yep that would be very bad that would be very bad mm -hmm. um let's see let's see ashbury on think with the five imagine if heroes of olympus was animated and you had yuri lowenthal voice of sasuke and i think loose voice percy goaded dude i don't think you would understand like how my brain chemistry would change if i got like an anime or manga like adaptation like like you know assuming perfect world right at first jackson dude <laughs> y'all are cooked y'all are cooked man y'all are cooked i wouldn't i wouldn't even bother showing up i would just be like hey bro just just wake me up when it's time to talk about the first suggestion chapters everything else is s in comparison uh um, i wouldn't even i don't even know if i'd show up bro um but yeah let's see let's see bro look um i think percy jackson anime would go fucking crazy um i i definitely th uh, if i had a wish list right don't adapt the graphic novel adapt the book right like like of course, bro hmm I yeah, said, of course, yeah, yeah. bro. Because, like, dude, I I, uh, I scrolled through the graphic novel the other day just because, like, um, I it was just curious, right? I was, like, flipping through mm -hmm. it, and I was like, damn, bro, they cut just as much out from these as, like, the show, but somehow it's just, I don't know, like, I feel, I feel like it's okay to take your time. It's It seems like any medium with visuals is just a little bit more stingy with um, stuff they want to show, and it sucks. Like, I get why for, like, budget or labor reasons, but it, it, it does... It does leave a lot to be desired. You know, that's the one thing, um, you know, books proper, capital B, um, have maintained over the years. That's like an you, advantage. Yeah. Um, so let's see. moment for me, apparently. <laughs> yeah, Ashbury and Day with a five. Cream is when Naruto was added to the book club, Soccer is the one woman you where your misogyny is allowed. Um, Thanks. Ashbury and I'm, are you I'm the, sorry, Are you the I'm guy sorry, that gives bro. out yeah, those you passes? Can't, you, like... can't, you can't give out... You, Listen, man. E e e listen, man. We might have to. We might have. Because it just. Yeah, no, yeah. That's not how that works. I, 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 we, yeah. You do not have. You do not have access to that pass. Yeah, I don't think that's our authority, bro. Like. Yeah, bro. But that's I, not, I that's appreciate not. the. Sentiment. And personally, and personally, you know, I hope Creams doesn't even want to be misogynistic. Um, you know, I would. I would hope so. I would hope not. Okay. Um. Um. Google me. E. Thank you for the five. Yo, here from work. Happy to be here. Appreciate you being here. With you to having Cleveland dismantled, does this mean his short hit work on Maki Toji, or is that a barrier uh, skill? It. I mean, just no, the raw technique. Know. Probably just it. Like I think I mean, it, the raw technique. Yeah. yeah, but that. But if it's imbued into the domain, we have no idea if he targets uh, inanimate yeah. objects. Yeah, it seems like that's um, a symptom of Sukuna's domain skill than it is like a skill of the inherent technique. I mean, cleave and dismantle target different things, right? Mm -hmm. um, one adjusts the cursed energy; the other, the other, like has more of a, a default setting. Um, so I'm sure, like, I'm sure if he could imbue it into his domain, it, it maybe, maybe I could see something like that work. I could see something like that work. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Yuta's also like very proficient with domains, but I guess we can we can get into that, right? Um, we can we can just jump right into uh, JJK, right into JJK, sorcery fight. Let's Kaisen. go, bro. Man, this was a this was a riveting, riveting ass chapter, dude. I remember like it was one of those chap like fight chapters where like I forget to breathe sometimes. Don't make a joke. Don't make a joke. Don't make a joke. And I was just like, bro, my heart's racing. This is fucking exhilarating. All right, this was a peak JJK fight chapter. Gege cooked. Can we be honest? Can we be honest? Yeah, Gege Gege did his thing, bro. He put a, on a chef hat and decided, you know, yeah. it's time to lock in. Sorry, I was, I was expecting a lot more hostility. Came in with some crazy energy. All right. All right. I mean, you know, typically I would cook you. Um, not even because I disagree, just because you know, yeah, you yeah. happy, bro? Got to shut that shit down. But yeah, I'm gonna really let, sure, really let it rock. Yeah, I'm gonna um, let it rock. I'm gonna let it rock. Um, yeah, you you came in here. You didn't. Mm -hmm. You came in here, kind of cooked, bro. Mm -hmm. Um, you you know how you're pulling up all the stops. Motherfucker thinks he's Gojo for real. Hit that upside down pose. Like, okay, bro, I see you. I see you. You're not slick. You're not fucking slick. Um, but they're they're kind of cooking in here though. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be real, bro. They're kind of doing their thing. They are kind of doing their fucking thing. Yeah, it's it's um, so exhilarating, man. Like you could tell Gege, like the way the panels were flowing, the way he's like showing the art and like the characters jumping over the lines. It's just it's just fucking great. Like it 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 balanced the action with like the monologue so well. And do you remember? Do you remember when the Gojo versus Sukuna fight was around seven eight chapters in? And I was like, man, I wish there was an MPHP meter here, right, just to see where uh they were at. Yeah. We fucking got that here. <laughs> we fucking got yeah. that here, bro. Sukuna, half half uh, cursed energy reserves, which is still basically one Yuta's worth of cursed energy. Yeah, right? I'm gonna be real, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This this solidifying my opinion that this motherfucker would a would a would outlast a Gojo in a, in a stamina contest. I'm gonna be real, bro. <laughs> Gonna be honest, bro. Said, oh fuck, dude. I just have as much cursed energy as Yuta. God, God like a it. common bum, like a regular guy. While his soul is being fucking shaken. 
yeah from and in a domain while he's maintaining fucking hollow wicker right. basket yeah oh my god bro fuck this is this that's so garbage man oh god Dude, every every technique you you just collected like pokemon has been uh used i think in this chapter uh, at least the ones that we know of uh like that we've seen so like um yeah. uh, Drew's technique with the sh uh, sh shikigami or shinigami i forgot the one off the top shikigami. Of shikigami um mm -hmm. like with the trail sukuna's back gets slashed that's fucking cool uh, uh Uru's, we got sky manipulation yeah. Um, we got Charles. We got yeah, the, we got bro. The free I told shit. you, bro. I told you. The one thing I want is for these motherfuckers to take notes. And Yuza took notes. Yuza took fucking notes, bro. He took notes. He took Rika to to an all you can eat buffet. Like he like, I. Bro, this happened in the month, bro. I'm gonna be real. This is not a result of him seeing Gojo get cooked. Yeah. This shit was the cheating. <laughs> yeah. This is this is what I'm talking about. Bro. Like this is what Yuta needed to do, bro. This is the min max strategy. If you're if you have a copy curse technique like Yuta, like oh wait, so many sorcerers here. Rika, go forth, eat them. Like, 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 yep. I saw, because here's what I'm thinking, right? You know the fucking, um, the manga ability he copied from Charles? You know that shit's gonna be, it has to be better than Charles, right? Because he's just a better sorcerer. So I'm curious how much further he sees into the future, for example, right? Because, like, it, I assume it's on, under the same mechanism as Inomaki's Cursed Speech, where, like, uh, he can use it better than Inomaki, which he also used this chapter on Tsukuna. Yeah, I don't, I mean... He uses it better than Inumaki because he has more cursed, cursed energy. energy but yeah. like the effects are the effects are the same. Like I would imagine he still sees one second into the future on one stab, two on two stabs, mm. etc. Et I I thought like the cursed energy um buff would make it so like the time extends to, like ten seconds or something. I I wouldn't I wouldn't see I wouldn't see a reason why it doesn't seem like the limitation was um one of cursed energy. Like with Inumaki's, we haven't explicitly said the reason cursed speech has drawbacks in the first place is like if you try to curse something that is stronger than you right mm. well chances are you just not running into that very often yeah he's also in his um, domain so like i assume he has some kind of amp right now because it seems yeah. like it seems like you like he's not spitting out blood or anything you know so i it, mean <laughs> when he got hit with the when he got when he got hit with those slashes bro he wasn't spitting out blood but it was coming out of his fucking face but yeah i mean of course not yeah i mean yeah he's not gonna he's not gonna he's not gonna spit bro he he yuda it's not Yuta Maki, bro. Don't, yeah. don't expect that shit from bro, him. Bro, Sukuna's such a dork, though. He he literally saw Yuta do that, and he was like, gotta be precognition. Gotta be precognition. This guy's seeing the future. It's like, damn, bro. That's, yeah, bro, like, that's you the... Should, you should not, have been, able to, you should not yeah. have been able to hit me like that, bro. No, you gotta be seeing um, the future. It's like, damn. So, like, this is... A, you're right. It's crazy that you're right, but, like, the ego on you to think the only way for you to have done that is if you had seen the future. It's like... Yeah. That's so crazy, man. It's like, imagine you're fighting somebody, and he's like... And you get a shot in, he's like, are you seeing the future? like no you psychopath what yeah 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 um and i i will say i will say it's cool to know that like curse speech can also work on like technique activation so when he says don't move he mm -hmm. he, he doesn't just mean your physical body it's like not that curse all, yeah. shit, that's stopping too bro hey man lay man listen man y'all mm -hmm. y'all made listen man some agendas a certain certain domain popper might be getting cooked if curse speech is on the table that's all i'm gonna say yeah um but <sighs> shit was crazy um we um we now know like you like in that in that whole exchange he's like yeah bro i'm glad gojo fought that motherfucker first or else he'd be at full curse energy and fucking dismiss he wouldn't give us time to breathe we would just be killed it's like all right bro that's crazy one yeah. thing too mm -hmm. real quick people were fucking using like um like ishigori to downplay yuda Turns yeah out, ishigori's that. always just been that fucking tough yeah because, like, like Sukuna one-shotting him might have given us some weird perspective, I guess. But, yeah, no, that was Sukuna, like, full health and everything. Yeah, if, like, you, if you look at the TB, T, TBC, TCB scans, mm -hmm. the way Sukuna phrases it is that, like, I have to use cleave. Like, a dismantle will not create a lethal blow mm -hmm. the same way it did with Ishigori. Which kind of implies that, like, oh. when he slashed at Ishigori, like, he mm -hmm. was trying to kill him with dismantle. And then the cleave, he had to adjust, right? I mean, like... Basically, what I get from that is Sukuna could have used Cleave again, and while Ishigori would have taken damage, he couldn't kill him with that, right? Like, Ishigori is that tough, which I'm like, god damn, motherfucker. Like, you to kind of just, yeah, man, listen, 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 listen. You know what I mean? Everybody was saying, oh, you know, you to cook, he relative to Ishigori, mm -hmm. you saw Sukuna did him. Looks like being relative to Ishigori means a fuck ton if you're talking about durability and shit, man. Like Ishigori's a I Ishigori upscale W, man. Yeah, bro. Like, that that Ishigori output thing, like, damn, dude. Um, I didn't because the crazy thing is Sukuna didn't do his usual you were impressive thing with Ishigori, uh, like all that much. And most he was just like, I'll take you more seriously. My bad. 
but I didn't know he like left an impression long term, you know. So this was cool confirmation mm. about that. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, bro said, "Fuck, dude. Damn. I'm I'm sorry, bro. Let me use the attack that adjusts your durability real quick as a courtesy. Cur mm -hmm. Courtesy slash, bro. Courtesy slash. Um, so that was cool. Um, you know, so you can also acknowledging that they're a lot tougher. Um, like they they've just upped their their base stats mm -hmm. and shit. Um, he's like, oh yeah, you know, and the brat has reverse curse technique, whatever. Yeah. Um, and then also, like, we get confirmation. I think this is the second character we've seen in the series have the specific ability to target characters within their domain. The only other person, strangely enough, that we've seen that can do it is um, Dagon. No one else has ever been able to do that. Like, even Gojo can't do that, um, based on mm. what we know, because, like, he would have he would have done so in Shibuya, right? Um, yeah, if he could he, he explicitly separate, target yeah. one person with infinite void or a couple of people, he would have just done it on the curses. Mm -hmm. So not maybe not overall, right? But in one specific aspect of domain amplification, Yuta has already surpassed Gojo. And I would say I, I, I would hesitate to say Sukuna because Sukuna might be able to target people individually, but what does he care? He's Sukuna, bro. Yeah. Like if everybody he's not dies, sparing everybody anybody, dies. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I don't know if I believe that. Because yeah, he, he still moved Megumi out of the range. He didn't just, like, cut around Megami. So I don't think he, he can didn't. either. He shrunk it, yeah. yeah. He might be, hey, man, hey, man, listen, listen, listen. I will say this, bro. Being, potentially being better, like, in once again, not all aspects, right? Because his domain is even still closed. Even in one, yeah. But even in one, bro, like, okay, that's useful as hell, yeah, bro. bro. And Second only to Gojo. Character. It makes sense that, like, someone like Yuta would have have that sort of, like, um, that evolution in his bag, because Sukuna and Gojo are much more "I fight alone, fuck off" type vibes. But mm -hmm. you know, so having some having friendlies in their domain is not even something that they really want. Um, so yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, it's really cool that uh, we're finally seeing Sukuna do a three v one like properly. Because the way Rika was running interference was so cool, man. That was such cool. Rika fucking, definitely yeah. was coming in clutch. Also, it's cool to know that Rika can just like regrow her arms like with no difficulty. Um, I, shit got cleaved off. Yeah. And then she just came back with another haymaker, like, okay, what's, th what's that going to do with Mito? I think that might be a symptom, I'm, I'm theorizing, is that a symptom mm -hmm. of Rika being like a cursed spirit almost, and so reverse curse technique comes easier? Is that a Yuta thing where he can also do it? Or do you think that's, I mean, a, that's a domain amp for her? I, I imagine it's one of those things, so you know how like Ishigori like punches Rika away? Mm -hmm. Rika didn't die just because of that, right? Mm -hmm. And I mean the last time he does it, like where he where the narrator says like he overcame her durability there. Mm -hmm. Um so like just because Rika gets defeated doesn't mean she's gone forever. I imagine that like Yuta just uses his own cursed energy or maybe her she's using the the reserves that she has to just like regrow those limbs. I don't think it's anything yeah. more 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 complex than that. Personally, uh, personally at least yeah um, um i just want to say like this is so fucking cool man like it's yeah. it sucks that like it, it's in a situation where sukuna can't use his domain to fight back almost but i'm just loving the teamwork involved it does, in this it does, yeah. it does not suck bro <laughs> this is no no no, scenario, no, no, no not like narrative level i mean from like a meathead level like i just want to see you to put the pause on him like at full health you know mm -mm. Mm -mm. Because there wouldn't be, put, bro, they would get slashed once and be like, oh, fuck, dude. Oh, I need mm -hmm. to heal. Nope. So you can still slashing. Oh, you're still slashing. Oh, you're still slashing. Is that a fire arrow? Yeah, nah, bro. Yeah. I don't need that. I don't need to see that shit. Um, what the, the only thing, I'm going to be real, bro. I'm going to be real. This is the only thing that kind of detracts from the chapter to me. So just prepare for hate, bro. Okay. Just okay. prepare for hate. Prepare for like Embracing. hate in a roundabout way. All right. Okay. The only thing that makes me mad about the way you just getting gassed up is the fact that I know similar things will be happening for Hikari. And I oh, I'm like so that, excited though. for that. Because, like, Hikari so, already sort of got a version of that with his reverse curse technique, when it was like, damn, bro, it's better than Tsukuna and Gojo's. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see that. Um, That's my, that's my worst nightmare, bro. But aside from, aside from shit that literally has nothing to do with this chapter, um, pretty fucking good, man. Um, I think I think I think they cooked. One thing that we learned about Hollow Wicker Basket, I'm sure people could have surmised this before, but like it taking the clasped hands is like such a fucking crazy condition, man. I see why simple domain is like the evolution of it. Yeah. Um because you have to hold that shit the it entire only time. Only works mm -hmm. for Sukuna, really. Mm -hmm. Or if you can like fucking fight with your feet or if you're a Shikigami user or something. But like up close battles not really gonna work, I'm gonna be real. 
It's crazy that um, despite all this punishment and the effects of his soul shaking, Sukuna is still holding on. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Also, I'm 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 liking I'm liking um you know this this is strengthening every theory. Like yeah, bro, keep shaking that soul, man. Yes. AUG. I need bro. give me give me a black flash soul shake, brother. Let me get one of them. Let me get let Yuji. Let me get one of them, bro. Let me let me. I can. I yeah. can taste. I can taste one of my goat's freedom. Dude, bypassing that goat's durability, freedom. Like he's just like yeah, a bro. a Suka. A, I could flick you and make you shake. Yeah, bro. Yep, 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 yep. I like it. I like it, man. Um, Yuji and Yuda saying like when when Suka asked what they've been up to, them having conflicting answers. Yeah. Very very adorable. Very adorable. They, they did not get their story straight. <laughs> Hard work and determined. We cheated. Yeah. Oh. My my fault, bro. <laughs> oh, I, I thought. Yeah. Okay. Okay. My bad. My bad. I, I didn't know we were gonna lie. I I've seen a few theories surrounding it. Um, one that I that immediately came to mind is like binding vows, like in exchange for, um, superior like sorcerer ability in this fight. Some they'll lose something, maybe in future battles. Not my most likely one personally. There were some others I saw though that like they recruited like Mio and they had him cast his domain and they trained in there, um, to get extra time during that month. So like instead of it maybe being a month for them it's like it's been a year it's been whatever um you know how maki steps mm -hmm. in there gets her quick little hyperbolic time and training chamber, in. and it's like a thousand uh, matches or yeah i definitely yeah, think they, yeah. they, they, they did that um they could have also done the same with um daido i think is his name the, the katana guy and uh given all of them like a little soul edge or something like yeah this prison room can also do the same thing i think akari even um mentions that like it can warp time and shit um so i imagine like if they have angel right there like all right angel we're gonna go in there all mm -hmm. right <laughs> we're gonna train for a little bit yeah um they come out with like beards and shit yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 it it is uh that is an interesting thing though because um uh, i'm seeing people say ug to use a risk risk technique needs to like bite his hand or something because whenever maybe he, i mean because whenever I get, I get he uses it, yeah he, he like goes yeah. into the same like he, he uses the same stance right he's essentially like mouth behind hand yeah um it, it could definitely be possible i just wonder if that's like just something that yuji does i'm not sure mm -hmm. i'm not against the, the idea because he also did come into like into the match like biting his arm or whatever the fuck he was doing mm -hmm. um like when he dropped down with higuruma um so it's it's certainly possible for yeah. sure um, um, I wonder yeah. how how much damage this domain is gonna do in the long run, because uh, um I think this fight's gonna go in like a few phases if that makes sense. This feels like mm. definitely the the third phase of beating Sukuna, right? One is Gojo, uh, two is Higuruma and Yuji, three is Yuta and Yuji, then four mm. is probably Maki, uh, at some point, uh, or Hakari and then Maki, and then mm. it might just be like Yuji on his own at the end or something. I I don't know, like. I definitely feel like we're like the whole thing is slowly whittling away at Tsukuna over a long period of time. So I don't know if any dramatic, you know, JJK Zero beam clashes are going to be the way they beat him. Um, yeah. But it, it, it it's like a slow and steady. It, you know what it is? Tsukuna is a fucking Elden Ring boss, bro. You got to be patient. Yeah. The thing, the thing, the thing that gets me though is that like it is either the Yuta or Yuji that are like. We have to beat him here. And Yuta came into the domain with the idea that he wants to like kill Sukuna here, or not maybe necessarily kill him because of Megami, but yeah. like no. But that's Yuta him. being like Yuta, you know. Even with the calling games, and he knew the other uh, students were out there, he was like, "I'm gonna kill Kinjaka myself." Like he put the responsibility on himself. So I think that's just a yeah. character thing. That's fair. Um, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, let's see. Let's go through these super chats uh, real quick. So yeah. Orion, um, thank you for becoming an honored one. Appreciate you. Appreciate we'll see you. See you on uh, Thursday, bro. Yep, um, yep, yep. And Jay Hurt, you too. Thank you for becoming a member for two months. Y'all heard the theory about Yuta having red and blue, so hollow purple is back as an option. I mean, Sukuna almost debunked that explicitly, right? He was like, "No, nah, he'd need the six eyes." So Sukuna also was like, "Oh, is he out of his bag of tricks?" And then got hit with his trick. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Like, um, I'll say it like this, right? Yuta's already shown more proficiency with, like, Cursed Energy in his domain than something that Sukuna already thought was possible mm -hmm. with, like, the specifically targeting him. Well, I don't think he's ever gonna, you know, spam the Limitless in the same way. I could see Yuta, like, burning through a lot of Cursed Energy to use, like, Infinity once to stop, like, you know, maybe a big attack that isn't uh, the world-altering Dismantle or whatever. Or, like, yeah. maybe he uses, like, Purple... And that's his that's his contribution to the fight. Like, I don't think he's gonna be able to use it like Gojo, mm. but I could see I could see a scenario in which he's like, 
all right, bro, this is this is sort of like this is my Eureka blast, right? This yeah. is my last contribution to the fight. You know, the funniest thing that could have happened between chapters, uh, with Yuta uh, being here and then uh, where he ended off, where he was with Kenjaku and Takuba, is if in that like scuffle, um, he he ate like Geto's hand or something. Uh, reabsorbed all the spirits that were released, and he's gonna save that as like a fucking uh, thing for Sukuna just to enjoy. Maybe I don't yeah. know if it'll kill Sukuna. Obviously, it's not, but like that'll be a hell of a distraction. That'll be a hell of a distraction. Yeah. For um, sure, because sure. I think, bro, I don't want to see you to die. <laughs> like, can I just? Me neither, man. Yeah, like on some agenda shit, I don't want to see you to die. Not even agenda shit, bro. I I just I just like it's just no I, no I as a character, character yeah. Like I I yeah. don't want him to die, man. I don't want the cursed child to go away. Yeah yeah so that's that's, um, that's where i'm at with that um google me thank you for the five three things one random ryu gas love it yes we do yes we do two y'all been seeing uh calling yuta having cleave trash because he has it before yuji yeah i think we we mentioned that at the beginning three gay gay please give me hakari gas we're gonna get it we're no, gonna we're gonna bro, get it we're gonna we get it I, we don't want that bro we're gonna we, please, yes we gay do gay, off screen off no. screen arame no. freezing hakari Please. Nope. Binding vow. I offer up Creams' life as a sacrifice. And gotta, uh, yeah, and I offer up get, something something of your own, buddy. Anyway, yeah, do that. Yeah, 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 moment. Thank you for the five. You're right, bro. I give up also, the podcast. Also, how much do we want to bet Yuta copying Sukuna's technique comes from Rika eating the last finger? You know... That is not a good idea. I don't opinion. think that's a good idea. Like, I, if I'm if I'm Sukuna, I'm like, bro, how did you eat a part of me that I didn't know about? Like, like it, it's just like a... What'd you do? Like, what did Rika have to eat? that uh like cut off my theory is that maybe it was something that was cut off in the fight with gojo um or maybe yeah. it was the I mean, hands he, he, that yeah, but I, I don't know i don't know if consuming a part of sukuna is a good idea keep in mind it actually hasn't been confirmed what the condition is for you to to um like get Copy. curse techniques now like ishigori speculates that it's consumption and obviously you've been working based off of that yeah um but like if in the domain the curse technique copy works con uh like unconditionally then what mm -hmm. happens if the actual copying aspect of it is unconditional as well? Mm -hmm. Like, as in, if you're caught in my domain, we sh your technique is my technique. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it, type shit. Mm. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I'm also curious if you to copy Boogie Woogie, uh, how that would translate to a sword. Um, just just a little random thing in there. Sorry. Yeah. Um, let's see. Zygo, I hope I said it correctly. Thank you for the five. Since Maki has yet to appear in the battle, could she be lying in wait to make sure uh, that Hikari survives? I like that you think M Maki would be on Hikari duty and not on Sukuna duty. That's funny to me. That's like, I don't know. Like I, mean, I, feel, I feel both, priorities. Both strategies make sense in my opinion. Mm. Um, like both of them, both of them lead to um, outcomes that I think. Like, you can say one might be marginally better than the other, but, like, I'll put it like this, right? Mm -hmm. Arame isn't someone that they take lightly. That's why they sent someone that they're, you know, the narrative and they're saying is equal to Yuta, right? Right. Sending Akari to them after Arame is the same thing as sending Yuta, right? Right. To Arame just, just straight up scrapping. If that motherfucker does get cooked, you've just lost in their eyes a Yuta, right? Right. Having Maki be insurance that, like, hey... Let's make sure mm -hmm. that you come back and help is not the worst idea in the world, right? Especially yeah. I don't if know, cause Maki we... can't guarantee that she kills Sukun in one stab. I don't think I don't know if they're necessarily going for a one stab approach. I don't know. My my assumption with Maki was that uh she she would build on Yuji's damage to the soul. Like mm -hmm. um That's what I mean. Like I'm saying like but you would want to do that um very what's the word I'm looking for? very concisely right mm. you do not want to draw like in in the most optimal scenario i'm not saying maki isn't going to fight of course she is right the mm. thing isn't going to go optimally but i'm mm. saying if at this point you're going to have maki sneak sukuna you want it to count like and finish it you do not want maki to sneak sukuna damage him a little bit more and then just add to the fighting or else you you might as well have him have her be in there with the domain right right because that that is one of the most favorable positions you can have her in Mm. So my thinking is, if you're if you're not one million percent sure she's going to finish the fight here, it's not a horrible idea to make sure that Hikari doesn't die, right? Mm. I got you. Like, okay, okay, cool. I sneak Arame because I'll say I'll tell you this right now: killing Arame with Soul Splitter 
in one shot is much more easily viable and believable than killing Sukuna in one shot with anything, right, yeah. really. Um, so it's like... And we still yeah. have, what, uh, Choso, Kusakabe... Um, what am I missing here? They already used Takaba. They already used Angel, technically. Um, yeah, Angel's technique's being used. Um, Kiguruma's dead. Kashimo's dead. Is that everybody? Is that is that like in the... terms of what? And Kamo's people... gone. Yeah, I'm just like I'm just going down the locker room roster. I think uh, obviously Miwa being saved as a last resort. Right, um, right, right, right. Kusakabe and Ino are out there, but Ino, know. yeah. So the, like, bro, uh, if this dom- like if or when this domain is like burnt out. Um, they might, they could do shifts and have, you know, um, Choso and Yuji take over for a bit, you know, uh, uh, bro, you saw what, no, 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 hold on, hold on, you just, saw what just, did, did, not did to kill him, not, not enough to kill him, not, no, not even to kill him, bro, you might as well just have said Yuji's 1v1-ing Sukuna, bro, <laughs> Choso, you, Choso got, like, I, I don't even know if perception blitz is, like, a, an extreme enough term, bro, he shot out his fastest attack, it got dodged, and he had a hole in his chest, bro. He got cooked frame one. Let's say he's fully healed and he comes back, right? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, I'm being optimistic. I'm it's, being optimistic. It's, it's it's really just like I trust. I would trust a a Yuji Kusakabe duo more than I would trust Yuji with Choso, um, and Ino right now. Yeah. Like maybe if Choso bosses the fuck up and you bring out that Kenjaku energy, yeah. maybe I can see something, bro. But the w- motherfucker came in there with no flowing red scale. Came in their base against Sukuna. Like, bro, you weren't taking this shit seriously. You were not locked in, man. <laughs> oh my god, man. It, it's I'm I'm excited. I'm I'm definitely like in the um Oh shit, bro, Sukuna's bleeding. Let's go. Like it, yeah. it, it, this definitely feels like the most hmm, that's crazy phrasing. This feels like the least hopeless it's been since Gojo died. If that Yeah. Yeah, that's more appropriate. I, I, yeah. I'm more comfortable agree, phrasing it like that. Yeah. So, you know, excuse me for being uh moved by uh you know carried by my enthusiasm <laughs> yeah 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 um, um let's see uh disgraced uh, imprictor <laughs> imprayer um for the 20 uh a little late to the stream but here i am appreciate you appreciate you man uh, nice to appreciate have you the 20 appreciate the 20 red, red shadow. shadow thank you for the two mm-hmm. need world cleaver glazing to upscale kashima please amen look man. if you should work and get mentioned 40 chapters later yeah. i'm sure Sukuna will say oh yeah that guy with electricity bro he's kind of uh, cool yeah he was cool, he's cool as hell i i you know it'd be cool if like that waffle thing was uh was all the same you know cut the world cleave right yeah bro's like oh my god i couldn't kill him with anything else mm-hmm. bro, that's you why know, my cursed I, energy I, I, reserves i actually had my original yeah. stock when i uh fucking reincarnated into this body but then gosh I used a, yeah i used a binding valve bro in exchange <laughs> for my domain all of these attacks would be amped beyond my limits or some bullshit <laughs> That uh, is how worthy of an opponent, opponent Hajime the, Kashima yeah. was. Listen, bro, I would feel I, that I would still want that fight to be extended, but I I, I think I'd be able to go to sleep a little bit easier. Bro. Yeah, yeah, that, that definitely make the the pill go down on rereads a lot a lot better. Yeah, hundred um, percent, bro. Oh my god, I tried my best, bro. If I didn't, I would have fucking died, died right where I stood. Did you see how fast <laughs> he was? God, bro. <laughs> Dude, I had to spam my fucking reincarnation shit, bro. Even go, he's like, all right, bro, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, apply the, go and apply the mm-hmm. fucking ridiculous glazing. Yeah. Um, um, dude, speaking of that binding vow thing, I saw some people on Twitter mention that like Sukuna. I don't know if this is, translation grain of salt, right? So that's my thing going in. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's did Sukuna say that he took some kind of binding vow or something to prep for his fight with Gojo that he's now paying the consequences for with um not being able to, like, use him and shrine against Yuta. Because for me, I always thought it was just, like, his brain still being injured from, from the fight. Or, like, Infinite Void. Um, Cause, like, does, he, does he say... what? Where, in what translation did, did you get the... I think uh, the, the TCB one. Finding? Let me see if I'm... Uh-huh. Let me see if it's in the official. Let me see. Um, uh, Maybe I'm laced, but I have a feeling you're more laced. Let's see. I saw that on um, Twitter, though. So, I again, massive grain of salt. Okay. After my fight with Gojo Satoru, not only am I unable to expand my domain, but the effects of my reverse curse uh, technique are sluggish. Okay, so yeah, that's what yeah. He says in TCB. My um, curse energy doesn't... output isn't just because of fighting uh, Gojo, Gojo Satoru. It's also because yeah. of Jujutsu High's defenses coming out in great numbers, and there's the poison. Yeah, so it just seems like... Yeah, he, it, he just says he can't use it yeah. just because of how the fight went with Gojo. Yeah, so I don't think it's a binding vow. Okay. Mm-mm. Yeah, just just kind of cuffed. I still can't use it, which makes which kind of implies that like he he foresees that he will be able to like that yeah. his brain will come back. It, it, I can um, imagine Sukuna this whole time is still like 
just just checking every once in a while like that fucking switch working like almost like a car engine like domain 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 you know mm-hmm. uh yeah. and he's like finally when he hears the engine roar <laughs> yeah that's gonna be funny it's as like, thank god bro thank god yeah um here we go time to win um yeah. dude i will say my favorite meme to come out of this chapter this week i just want to give a special shout out to it ah uh, yes my ancient technique that i haven't used since the hey and era ah uh, yes your ancient technique that you haven't used <laughs> since the hey and era wait what yeah and it looks better on me type shit but i've seen a lot of that yeah yep yep yep, yep dude that yep. artist on Let's twitter see. i don't remember their app but they fucking cooked with that stoic sukuna and uh, yuta panel that, that yeah they did they did cool. Um, um, let's see. Shadow Star thinking with a five. You'd about to get Suka to piss through sealing his technique enough to black flash you for, for no, no reason. reason. Yeah. Imagine if he's like, dude, fuck you to fuck you to fuck, and he just hates. He just hates Yuji. Like mm. runs past him. He's like, all right, bro. What black was the point flash. in that? Yeah, it's yeah, nah. it's actually so crazy because like, even if Suka were to land a black flash in, U- in Yuta's domain against Yuji, it still wouldn't be like the black flash I want Suka to hit if he does. Because I want to see him, bro. He's got four arms. You know what I mean? Like, mm. let me see a, let me see a combo wombo, you know, let me see a, a black flash times four to the fourth power. Like, no, dude, not, <laughs> not that dude, <laughs> not that, not that, not that. No, thank you, bro. We don't need that. We do not need that. No, thanks. Appreciate you. Appreciate the offer. <laughs> um, but I actually going to reject it, bro. A, uh, no, the streets have considered your offer and we are politely rejecting it. Yeah. They're a uh, wild. Thank you for the two. So you can being stopped by cursed speech is yeah. dumb because yuta plus higi equals w what oh he's saying that like if yuta was there they would have been able to get him well that's kind of what yuta said yeah Yuta he already said late. if he yeah. pulled up yeah yuta said dude if i had just delegated to one of my friends i was gonna say something a little slanderous for no reason oh inomaki was also there that's the guy i was fucking missing in my roster countdown it was fucking inomaki it doesn't matter is, but has inomaki fucking sniffed the battlefield bro no no he shouldn't be there he should be next to kamo on that plane hey man get your life together bro <laughs> um but anyways um yeah i mean that's yuda literally says dude if i was here we would have fucking bodied his dumb ass is he right who knows right but that's what he believes yeah um so like it's not necessarily something that like gay gay and the characters within the story haven't thought of yuda chastises himself for being like so petty and maybe even like not distrustful but like so like needing to do everything himself that it might have cost them a very sure win con um so yeah i mean fair yeah. enough um, um hans legato thank and- you for the five I hope mm. Gege elaborates on World Cleave. It seems odd that he can't use it considering he used it with one arm before and HWV isn't. Uh, I'll look your basket. Thank you. Impeding regular curse technique usage. Um, I think for the this like the thing to cleave the world or whatever, he has to say the incantation. I think like it's part of it. Yeah, the incantation and also while he used it with one hand, if you go back to when he does it, I'm assuming you're talking about Higuruma, right? He points with one hand, but in the panel before, he sh- he has two of his hands clasped together to do the yeah. chant. And he also has right? a second mouth. So, like, yeah. he's probably also been talking this whole time. Which, by the way, I'm curious how the anime is going to adapt that. If we're just going to hear, like, characters talking or whatever during the fight, and Sukuna's second mouth is talking over them in the background. Yeah, I could see something like that. Maybe maybe shit goes quiet as you're like, what the fuck is that boss music? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, ZX4, yeah. thank you for the two. Is 15 Finger UG Megana... Uh, beating Yuji and Yuta. Megana, yes, obviously, very badly so. Um, cause, cause, let's say, just for a split second, just entertain the thought, right? Let's say you think Yuta can one v one fifteen finger Sukuna. Yuji versus Maharaga. He's not. I don't think we haven't seen anything enough for me to say, yeah, bro. He's yeah. one shotting Sukuna's version of Mahar. No. Yeah. Because um, after getting soul shaken a couple of times, Mahar gonna be like, nice, bro. Yeah. Adapt. Watch this. Yeah. It, it's yeah. kind of it's kind of crazy because like the main thing is that fifteen finger Megana is still relative to Maki physically, and Yuji is not. <laughs> so and Yuji's Yuji would be like the fucking beefcake in beefcake is such a weird word to use for this. I'm sorry. Um, he'd be like the mu- the muscle right in that in that dynamic um i don't i don't know how to tell you bro maki is not relative to 15 fingers you can uh um ooh, I, damn bro i thought i mean yeah you got misogyny you, you got you got that bro you got it's not it's got. not about that bro his cursed energy outputs just fucking it just fucking sucks there it's like if she does show up and, and shows relativity to him i'm i'm all for it bro toji upscale w 
Maki upscale, W. Yuta upscale, W. Like, I'm happy for all that shit, right? But I'm just going to call a spade a spade. Suken is out here saying sometimes my cursed energy dips at 10%. Not energy, but, like, his output dips at 10%. Yeah. I'm not saying... But he said his physicals I'm not were saying... fine. Like, I assume that also included reinforcement. Mm -mm. That's not what that means, bro. Mm -hmm. It means he has control over his body. Output is the only... Like, output is the thing that directly correlates to your stats. Mm -hmm. That's why Ishigori is so strong. Because he has gotcha. the highest output. Like, that's why he fucking... Like, I'll put it like this, right? Yuta has more cursed energy, like, raw amounts, than mm -hmm. Gojo. So why is it that he's not faster and stronger? Right, right? got you. It's it's because it's because their output and their their abilities are different. Gotcha. Suka had full control of Megami's vessel, right? Like he Megami wasn't like stopping him from moving his body, but if his cursed energy fucking sucked, he's not gonna be as strong. Gotcha. Um. Okay. But yeah. Let's see. Kuzu Karma, thank you for the ten. It's so crazy that Yuta's domain, if it fails and gets broken, he just activates Rika and gets his cursed technique back. Oh, and copy I mean, techniques yeah. and pops domain again. And if he doesn't win a clash, he has the cursed technique cursed swords. Technique. Yeah, Yuta's domain is very, very fucking is very is very busted, and yeah. I'm inclined to believe based off what Sukuna says that like his refinement is probably near the top of the series. Wait, like, hold there on. aren't very many. Yeah, but... I'm sorry, I'm just rereading this just to make sure I have this correctly. Are you saying, because uh, if you're here, are you saying if like it was Yuta versus like Mahito, for example, in a domain clash? And Mahito wins, Yuta would still have access to those random swords. No, I think he's just saying like even if they're in a tug of war, he still gets a. Oh he still gets yeah, he still has abilities. the swords available to him, right? Yeah. So yeah, okay, yeah. okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah, because that's yeah, so yeah. crazy, dude. Because Dagon's wait, wouldn't it work like Dagon's fish, like the piranha? Because they they just disappeared. Yeah, they did not disappear when he was in a clash. The sure hit effect is gone, but he still but uses he still them. had the fish. He just has to manually control yeah. them. I got you. Okay. Yeah. And since the swords aren't you to sure hit anyways, it would be no different from his usual fighting style. Gotcha. Cool. Um, so, yeah. But yeah, that, that yeah, is yeah. crazy. Yuta's domain is definitely busted. It's great. Yeah. yeah. I'm curious Game, if, uh, Sorry, I'm curious if... Because I remember last week we spoke about Yuta's domain in the rankings. I'm curious if it's gone up or down or if it stayed where, where it was at. Um, no. I mean, it would still be... It would still be in terms of... I'll put it like this, right? Domains mm -hmm. that, like, you have the least survivability of in my opinion it would go gojo sukuna mahito and i still wouldn't put yudas over it yet mm. um what would, what would number four be do you think probably if i'm trying to think probably yudas yeah mm. okay assuming it's yuda like the sure hit itself isn't as great but it's like you're also fighting yuda in there you know what i mean yeah um uh, so i'd say i'd say it's I'd about kenjaku's I'd, I'd say it's about kenjaku's Minus has he has one domain feat where he like crushes Yuki and it's like it, it the 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 open barrier part makes it makes it imply that it's like super refined right mm -hmm. but like we already know that open does not mean more refined than closed inherently because Sukuna and Gojo clashed equally right um but so like, even that is yeah. like I don't know man it, it's it's dicey it's very dicey yeah um I, it would it would have been cool to know if, if Sukuna or not Sukuna if Kenjaku had more than like big push for for his like domain sure hit. yeah definitely an odd set of circumstances with kenjaku we don't need to pull on that thread right now we don't need to pull on that yeah. thread right now for um sure, for sure. dane simonson thank you for the five game of thrones volume one and got oh my god game of thrones my god got Ooh. volumes one and two of blue lock and i'm on chapter 50 sakamoto days because of the pod by the way sorry i'm late uh at these amazon 10 hours again and didn't notice no problem bro, hey, bro. no problem no, don't apologize yeah. bro thank you for your service and Appreciate i hope you're you. enjoying blue lock yeah. as well as sakamoto days yeah um, um yeah. bro why did I, I i saw capital g in the word god and i was like game of thrones i don't even watch you're, it I, like you're cooked brother God, holy dude. shit disgraced um, Im imperator thank you for the five by the way hayden arasukuna beats gojo let's relax Bro is going to use uh, Fuga with two special great tools and having his domain amped while chanting Gojo is cooked. Does he have the cleave to dismantle the Lord? No, no, he doesn't. I no. think I think Hayden Arasukuna would win. I know. Um, but one thing I will, we know you don't, bro, but we don't pay you to think here. Oh, um, bro, but we, we already had this, what, this debate before. One thing, yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. Um, one thing I will say, though, is like more and more, I'm very much of the belief, and Gojo fans won't like this. Um, mainly being you i'm talking about here this version of sukuna he could rematch with gojo and come out with maybe like 75 percent of his cursed energy instead of 50 
Like I don't think he's this version with the with the with the thing that dismantles the not, world or yeah 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 like, okay him, yeah that's, he, that's good yeah yeah, I, I, yeah like he's like Gojo's not getting like low diffed for sure but like here's the thing right it's I'm I'm actually not... I'm gonna yes and you right in like a surprise mm-hmm. fucking steel chair twist here right mm-hmm. not only are you right I think if you this is the tw- the seventy five percent would be if Gojo knows uh, that uh, Sukuna has that in his yeah, arsenal. If he right? doesn't, if he bro, doesn't he it might be five percent on a good day. Yeah, dude, he might. He, it would be. It would be the amount of cursed energy relative to him that it takes to use one, one dismantle. Yeah. <laughs> like, because imagine Gojo's like, I'll just block this with my. Mm. Where'd my head go? <laughs> yeah, because okay. like for Gojo, it's like, oh yes, my opponent. Like, like the, the thought, this guy will cut space in existence itself. It, you have to be weird to think that. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. 100%. 100%. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Let me go up. Uh, Ziago? Zago? Zago? Ziago. Thank you for the hey, five. Decide on a pronunciation yeah. and, and stick Maki with it. Maki being on Hakari duty makes more sense to me because the plan is, if the plan is to save Megami. Making sure Hakari lives grants a punching bag to distract Sukuna. Um, he has to that's get, a W take. Yeah, that's, how I feel. that's not bad. Like it gives Sukuna a distraction for a while. Although you're gonna make Hakari fight for his life uh, when he's rolling. <laughs> yeah. So Maki better get that, in there, learn all the yeah, fucking rules. Yeah. Everybody better fucking everybody better fucking help, dude. Yeah. Holy shit! You do not want base Hakari just scrapping with Sukuna while his jackpot's mm-hmm. going on. Um, maybe the quick rolls will help him though, right? Yeah, um, no, they, they have to. Like, like, at least Maki just needs to get him to through one jackpot. Because, okay, this is going to huh. sound nuts. So, a Maki jackpot Hakari duo against Sukuna, if this is the next phase, right, just to give Yuji and Yuta a break, that would, that, mm. that could whittle away at least 10 to 15%, right? Like Wait, Hakari 1v1ing Sukuna? No, no, Hakari and Maki, but Hakari's oh, in okay. jackpot, right? Like, assuming, like, they're taking shifts yeah, almost. Keep... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I could see that. I could see that. Um, my only worry would be Hakari should be fine, and honestly, Maki should be should be fine. It's crazy, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. They should be they should be survivable. Mm-hmm. Um, my only question is, who the fuck is gonna heal them? Shoko, like who's gonna help? Udahime better start fucking dancing, dancing, singing, <laughs> get that guitar out. Yeah, yeah. Get curse energy back up. Bro, I, I better hear like a or some shit in the background. Like, like, uh, like I gotta see Gaku Ganji wailing in like the biggest speakers possible. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like I, I need yeah. to see her being like, if I don't get the Grammy, like, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need, I need some, I need some passion behind yeah. that shit for sure. Sukuna, um, M3D... are you ready to rock? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, let's see, let's see. M three D, thank you the five. In case you'll put any stock in lightning translations, uh, he confirmed Sukuna's output was low, specifically in terms of the curse check usage. Mm. Yeah, I think they, I think he says that here, right? That mm-hmm. like his his output fucking sucks. Um relative to his full power at least yeah i mean i saw some people were saying bro just don't even impress it for real bro he fighting a nerf suka and i'm like i'm gonna be real man there is not a character that we've seen in the story old versions of suka included that would that would really do a lot to the suka we see right now bro. yeah like Su- real. suka has like, really evolved into the strongest sorcerer of today as well you know unambiguously yeah. um too like i feel like it's very obvious um Let's see, let's see. CJ, think with the five. BR, do you agree with Six that current Yuta versus Toji is somehow a close fight? I'd have to hear his, like, um, I'd have to hear his reasonings out a little bit. I mean... Wait, did he make that video before he saw Yuta's domain? Or Dude, he's made Yuta versus Toji, like, three times. Damn. Um, This is the third, and he made it after, he made it after this most recent chapter, I think. Oh, okay. Um, Or he made it, like, when he, when he knew about the content. Mm. I will just say this, right? Um... If Maki's gotten strong, I'll, I'll say this for Toji fans, bro. Y'all better hope Maki gets no. I've gotten stronger statements. You're all a fucking cut <laughs> because then Toji just gets left behind in the dust and gets power clipped. Right? Yeah, uh, um, they stop being it, equal if Maki's like yeah. this month. I have learned a lot too. Yeah, it's like oh shit. You know, y'all. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real. I'm a big Toji fan. Like I like Toji more than Maki yeah, character like, wise. Bro, but I will say this, right? People put a lot of stock, quick little ramble, right? Mm-hmm. JJK related, but quick little ramble. People put a lot of stock into, like, Toji's arsenal and his, like, his, like, his experience as a fighter, right? And I'm going to be real. There's two things. One, 
his arsenal only helps against other sorcerers because let's be real inverted spear of heaven ain't doing shit to someone with no fucking technique mm -hmm. that's just a regular knife to, to monkey right mm -hmm. their best bet attacking wise is either if they have playful cloud or soul split katana right mm -hmm. so they're probably using that the entire time anyway and in terms of combat experience i'm just gonna call a spade a spade bro like and or like intelligence right I do think Maki's like kind of dumb sometimes. <laughs> running joke I have with Liv, like I actually do think sometimes she does that shit that's like really, really stupid. Like for example, thinking that now he has a cursed spirit was just going to be the same as he was before. God, that that's a helmet wearer activity, right? But <laughs> Toji knowing I should sneak a guy who's really strong is also not the pinnacle of intelligence either, right? I mean, you could argue the mother um the can like not killing Ghetto. And being right about that is like slightly big of it. I think I think that I mean I think that's I think that's a smart play, right? Mm -hmm. But so smart that it like it gets him a win in a straight up fight with no prep against someone with the same stats. Like people will be acting like a oh, nah, bro, even though their stats are the exact same and they're equal as fighters. Toji still pulls out a win. It's like, listen, man, if you want to think that, think that. I'm not gonna change your mind just based off of this. But like, mm -hmm. really think about like all that experience applies to people with techniques it applies to it applies to prepping to take someone down sure mm -hmm. maybe he'd assassinate gojo better than maki would i'll give you that but if these motherfuckers are just scrapping they're the same person mm -hmm. and if maki's gotten stronger that gap just opens but i will say this to answer your question um it's very tough to say i will say this based on what yuda says and based on everything that we've seen maki and as far as we know by proxy toji should be of relative status to yuda mm -hmm. because yuda thinks that he can delegate roles meant for him to her and if that's the case he's probably not saying that despite a wide gap in power mm -hmm. right um you know yuda's domain at least the sure hit wouldn't work on maki or toji um you know toji would have inverted spear of heaven to be able to maybe somewhat counter all of the technique usage Maybe that would help. Yeah, you know, um, I'm going to say this in, like, but, a weird... I don't think Maki's dumb. I think she's a jock. Does that make sense? Like, I think she thinks yeah, muscles first. Yeah, but I think jocks first. are dumb. Yeah, that, 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 I mean, that's what I mean. Like, I don't think... Yeah. How should, how should I put this? I just think... I think she is... She's portrayed in a much less, like... she's She hasn't really been, like, much of a tactician. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, um, and I see and why. I just, you know, I, I think Yuji's yeah. pretty similar. Um, Because, yeah. you know, he... he <laughs> punch kick merchant comes from somewhere you know what i mean so hmm. i don't think it's too different from maki and toji they just have the benefit of get like having tools on them as well so for yeah. yuji it's like a since he doesn't it's it's like especially prevalent but he thinks pretty much the same way you know it's just he he's not quite as stacked as they are in that department so whenever he's uh, he's a little bit more resourceful i feel yeah, like but because like almost out of necessity maki yeah. came into that now if i thinking i beat this motherfucker that's once i'll just do it again, again yeah. which is like <laughs> it, it maybe you could argue that's more arrogance than stupidity but i will never not be able to laugh at the fact that she was like you saw now you was different he pulled up way different you said nah i got this got blitz nah, like, i'd win Fuck. <laughs> and it's like oh shit every every, every rib in my torso was shattered but in her All defense right, well, you know give me five minutes it was cool yeah, it was yeah, cool yeah. like don't get me wrong like it's cool um yeah it's cool maki maki's interesting maki's interesting in terms of intelligence because she does things that work out but i'm like was that smart or did you or just get you lucky? lucky yeah because like, is tossing your sword to a random stranger how smart of a play is that maybe it's smart you can argue maybe instinct you could argue that kind of took yeah. over there um yeah but yeah walking into some random's domain like okay that was a decision it worked like i can't say you were i can't say you you made the wrong decision but it's mm -hmm. like i don't know if i'd consider that smart I would, I, I, I'll, I'll say it worked out for you i'll say you i say you you got what you wanted out of that yeah like, um regardless you got I away with toji it. yeah i'd say toji and yuda it is probably like a medium to high diff either way i don't really feel like getting too into the weeds on that versus battle mm -hmm. but like i think i think they're there are certain arguments and interpretations of things that happen to which you can like argue that based on what we know right if maki comes out and she said i've gotten stronger then you can throw a lot of these arguments out the window mm -hmm. but based on what we know you can say okay toji and yuda should be in the same tier right mm -hmm. they should be comparable characters right um yeah 
Yeah. So that's that's what that's what I think. No, your fans are gonna be so sad when Maki drops a, uh, I've gotten stronger, or yeah, or better be if crazy. Sukuna says it, he's like, you've gotten stronger, girl. Way stronger. You're so much more powerful than the last time we fought. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh shit, Toji fans in the mud. I apologize, guys. I'm sorry. Um, but let's see. Hansel Gato, thank you for the two. Was referring to be it being used on Gojo with one arm. Gojo with one arm. Oh, oh, the first time you used it. Hey man, I don't know the context behind that. I'm gonna be real. I can't even. I can't. I can't. And they're talking about like the world. Disability. Yeah, no, I, I know. Uh, I, my I one. I don't know, bro. I don't know what to tell you, man. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, I, cause that shit didn't happen on screen. Yeah. I can't, I can't even, I can't even reason through it. Yeah. Um, assumption Gojo probably thought, oh great. Another pathetic last minute attempt to stay alive. Yeah. You so know, maybe he was chanting, chanting, yeah. chanting. He's like, like extra sh- some shit or he, it could like, be oh, that he's praying. Because, <laughs> yeah. It could be that Tsukuna's output is lower now. Well, that wouldn't really make sense. Cause he was very fucked up then. Yeah. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I mean, I don't like, know, man. how much stock do you put in the fully reincarnating thing, resurrecting him? Because it didn't heal his brain enough to do domain, but he sa- he sounded pretty like, all right, my wounds have healed. I'm back at like my yeah. Brain. I mean, yeah. He, yeah. He. I mean, the narrator even says like he's back. He, he's stronger. Listen, bro. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let, chat. Let me cast an agenda real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let, 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 let me cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. Right. So when he fully incarnated. God, Kashimu, I will still try to defend your honor if, if possible. <laughs> when he fully incarnated, he got back to a hundred percent health, right? So you think the now Kashimo, he's at 50%. Higuruma, double whammy? Kashimo. Interesting. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Kashimo took t- I, I, I'll say Kashimo took 30, Higuruma took 10, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm willing I'm come on, chat. Come on, chat, rock with me, rock with me. Mm-hmm. He healed back to full. When Kashimo hit him with that two piece, he rattled his brain just as much as Infinite Void did. <laughs> Lock in. Lock in, bro. That two piece was actually enough to give him severe brain damage. That is near unhealable. Yep. Kashimo agenda, bro. Kashimo agenda. Kashimo agenda. Um, yeah, that's 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 agenda kaizen right there, folks. Classic. Yep. yep, yep, uh, yep Lemillion, yep. thank you for becoming a member for six months. Current UG and Utah no domain versus hidden era, hidden inventory get, <laughs> hidden inventory ghetto and hidden and uh, hidden inventory gojo. Who y'all got? No domain is crazy because that is how they would cook them. Well, Ghetto is getting fucking fried. Yeah, Ghetto's like has been. Listen, dude. I feel bad for what's gonna happen to Ghetto, bro. Like teenage Ghetto. Oh my god, R.I.P. People give me a lot of flack for this, right? But if you and this is a big if, right? If you just don't rely on the fact that Gojo and Ghetto say they're the strongest, Ghetto really has no feats as a teenager. Yeah, he beat he up an old man. Beats up an old man. <laughs> he beats an old man. I'm like, dude. Shibu, like once, I'm saying, well, once again, based purely off of feats, right? You, If you want to incorporate narrative back into it, we can. I'll do that in a second. Mm. Based purely off of feats, Shibu Yuji puts Ghetto in a blender. Because yeah. hidden inventory Ghetto has nothing. His curse spirits don't do shit. His physical stats are rel- or not relative. They're, they're vastly superior to an old guy. The, an old no man, rank, yeah. He's at no, least old man no, level. Yeah, and it's like, cool. What does that fucking mean? Now, if you give him the whatever, we don't really know what that means because there's not really a win con you can give Ghetto, mm. whatever. Um, Yuji's, Yuji's handling Ghetto quickly, and then they're 2v1-ing um, Gojo. I don't think Gojo's presenting a statistical problem for them. Like, Gojo's not Gojo's not killing them, I'm gonna be real. But yeah. the issue I see is, the issue I see is, he's not killing them with blue. No, bro. no, what it's I mean, no, what, what I'm worried about is, like, do they go in with, like, future Gojo powers in, like, knowledge? Because if, like, if they know, hey, man, we gotta kill him quick, uh, otherwise he might awaken type shit. I mean, I'm I'm imagining that he's he's staying the way he is, right? Unless mm. we, were, we unless we're incorporating like a potential future awakening for this Yuta and Yuji, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, I'm just assuming like it's in that case, it's weird because like I think Gojo might win by proxy of just like not running out of stamina first. Yeah. I, mm. Go while Gojo wasn't fighting the entire time. The the best stamina feat out of all the people present is being able to keep your technique activated for three days straight, yeah. right? Yudo uh, doesn't have it. Yuji doesn't have it. Gojo, you, you know what Gojo it might, be? might win off of just. You know what it might right, be. Bro, you can't touch me. You know what it might be. Mm. Not even that. First of all, they need a barrier uh, to to get rid of Gojo's infinity. But that's not even what I was gonna say. I don't know if Gojo can do the blue enhanced punches. Uh, before. he might not be able to. Yeah. Bro. Well, he he can he, he he might be able to. But here's the thing. It's like he's so much less proficient. Like it yeah. might just be ass. Like it might just not yeah, hurt as like, much. Because I think like he could definitely get a lot of shots in on yuji but yuji is just tanked so much more than t- what teenage yeah. gojo has to offer yeah i mean yeah it's not yeah. really you it's 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 pretty 
you would have to argue that like gojo at that point his blue enhanced punches or like whatever is stronger than like a 15 finger because i'm using the scale to ishigori mm -hmm. a 15 finger sukuna dismantle and it's like what the fuck are we talking about man yeah there's really no way to argue that i'm gonna be real um like you know i think you know that punch sukuna gave yuji when he first incarnated in megami's body you know that generational like like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, I, I definitely think Gojo's Gojo ain't hitting like that, bro. I think he can, it, as an adult, as an adult, right? Oh, oh okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. I was like, I was like, what the <laughs> fuck, dude? What? Like, so okay, okay, so okay. that's as an adult, for yeah. Sure. yeah. So yeah. as an adult, and like the additional pain or whatever effects you, uh, Blue has, right? Mm. As a as a teenager, he's not reaching a quarter of that. Like, mm -mm. not at all. I don't think so. Uh, it's tough. If you give you the domain, I think they cook him pretty badly. Um, yeah. Wait, what about Rika? Does does Yuta get Rika in this in this? Yeah, matchup? I mean he has Rika, but what oh, is Oh, so it's a three it's a three V two. Like <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But I mean okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Okay, let me maybe he just like sacri like just blow the fuck up. Maybe he just he just risks it, bro. You just gotta hold on, let me think. Let me think. What other abilities do you give copy? Precog doesn't work without contact, sky manipulation, doubtful that it would work on infinity. Um curse speech would work, but you can't really capitalize on it after the fact. Um what are the techniques? He could use, like, the orbiting Shikigami to get in damage on Gojo, right? Mm. Like, if Gojo... Well, I don't even... No, well, it, it, cause it says it casts a domain, though, right? Because, like, dude, again, love Gojo. Infinity Merchant. Like... <laughs> it, very, especially like, then, bro. God. Especially then. Listen, if you want to say he's not an Infinity Merchant in, in the future, sure. He's not an as, Infinity as Merchant As a teenager, in dude? Verse. Yeah. In a te as a teenager, bro, he had Infinity <sighs> in blue. This motherfucker was a... Not a loser. Canonically, he wasn't. But when you look into the future, he, he, loser activity. Yeah, bro. like he was definitely lazy about it. Like it was like you didn't touch me. Like I, I, like I'll be real, bro. I'll be real. Yuta no domain. Gojo no infinity. Yuta's putting him on a fucking t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Um. So that's that's kind of where I'm at with that. Um, yeah. Hall of Fight senses on gets you. Thank you for becoming a, a member. Uh, Demon Akatua, thank you for becoming a honored one after dark member. Uh, yeah, Zygo, thank you, thank, you. thank you for the two dumb idea. Jackpot Hokari RCT Spirit Bomb. I don't know if he can do that, man. I, what the fuck does that even mean, bro? I, oh, I, I, like, like he just makes positive energy, like that shit. Like, yeah, accumulates it. But I don't think Hokari gets the ability to do it consciously. I think his body just does it automatically. Like he doesn't learn reverse curse technique and then forget he does. it. Does, but what if over the course of this month he did intentionally learn it so that he can mm. use it better during jackpot? That would be pretty funny. Eh. Yeah. I, it depends on like what you want to say. Like I, I've I've mentioned this before as a as a Hokari laser man. He needs another trick in the bag. He needs another. He needs a third thing. Like Hokari's cool and all, but he doesn't get enough. Um, <laughs> don't like, say he's a punch cake merchant, bro. He I I mean don't. he is, bro. Like it just sucks that Yuji's getting all the heat for it when like Hokari's been right there. Like they're guilty hey, of the man, same crime. I'll, I'll say they're this, guilty I'll of the say same this, crime. Dude. I'll say this too: Yuji got RCT and he got Soul Punches now. Bro. Yeah, so like I mean, I, Hakari I'm gonna be simply real, needs to step it up. I'm gonna be real, chat, chat. Let, I, I, I'll test the waters. How are we feeling about current Yuji beating the piss out of Hakari? Jackpot. Yeah. Based on what we know, based on what yeah. we know, right? Hakari could get stronger, so I, I'll leave that tentatively. But I feel like if we, if people agree that Soul Damage can't be healed with RCT, Hakari's just gonna kind of get like whittled down. That shit's not gonna be healing, bro. Mm -hmm. Motherfucker gonna separate from his soul. Yeah, nah. Yeah. So, um, that's kind of where I'm at with that. Um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Disgraced, Disgraced Imperator, uh, thank yeah. you for becoming a member. Appreciate you, appreciate see you. See you Thursday, bro. Hmm. Um, Jaden 2011, they give you the five. That Hokari fan making an entire fake leak that's kind of believable until the end of the feed. The fellow Hokari fans, also funny as fuck. Is it that text leak where he was like, Hokari opens his domain on Tsukuna, and Tsukuna's rattled? Like that one, uh, Jaden? Dude. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. I'm real. But you know, fair, fair, fair. Mm -hmm. Uh let's see, let's see. Um Damien Rosario, thank you for the five. Thank you all for carrying my day at work. BR, I know you love Blue Lock, but have you read Jagon? It's the same author and has similar themes as Blue Lock and Art. Um, I've read parts of Jagon. I've read like I think I've read pretty deep into Jagon. I didn't keep up with it. Um, because I heard it was like a like a either a monthly series or it was like on a long hiatus. And I just I just don't do I just don't feel like um, dealing with that, to be honest. But Jagan was pretty good. I like Blue Luck a lot more, but Jagan was a pretty interesting series. It was just a little bit, it's a little bit much at times. It feels very, um, it feels very, like, gr gratuitous. I think that's the word I'm looking for. Gratuitous, like, with the, the nasty shit that it does in a mm. way that was, like, it is, is it, it is cheap? a cool, 
or huh? is it cheap gratuity like just to do yeah, it or? it it, okay. it, it, it it's it it doesn't you don't necessarily have to say that because like you can argue it does it for the sake of character development but it mm-hmm. doesn't feel very tasteful or like like it does it doesn't do it with much grace like there are mm. things that happen in vinland saga that i'm like oh that is quantifiably worse or like just as bad where i'm like while i do while i do feel like oh that this is horrendous there is not a feeling that like i'm gross for reading this thing mm. where jagan kind of feels like it's good like i like jagan but i do sometimes feel like Ugh. it's it's like a it's a, i don't know man you can i don't feel like you can kind of just like casually you can you can casually read any series but it's, it's on it toes that line it's not full mm. stop that but it, it does toe that line a couple of times in a way that i'm like it's not gonna get my 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 greatest graces if you will um but yeah yeah cool um don's elite thank you for becoming a member of honor ones after dark we will see you thursday um sipping nature thank you for being a member for six months uh who's the weakest here goku as a human luffy with no fruit naruto with no karama and gojo without the infinity Dude, Goku is a human, like, are we just saying no Super Saiyan? Like, just as a human it's... being with equal skill, I guess? Like, with, with his key? Like, just, just key and shit, bro? He... I mean, Wait. I guess he doesn't have the god forms. I guess he doesn't have the... Yeah. Luffy um, with no whatever. fruit. Um, does he still have hockey? And with Naruto, does he yeah. still have chakra? Yeah. If he has, if Naruto has chakra, I'm gonna be real. Probably saying yeah. he's cooking that that that. Listen, I'll, okay, I'll put it like this, bro. I think I think Gojo's getting cooked by everyone here. I'm gonna be honest. Um, Goku, if he just has if he just has like the same amount of key, but he doesn't have the transformations to amp him, Gojo's cooked. Mm-hmm. Um, even if he even if you say Goku is just like beginning of Saiyan Saga, right? Gojo is so unbelievably cooked. It's not even funny. Mm-hmm. It's really bad. Like, um, Luffy Kid with Goku no fruit might be. Like the Kid fu- Goku, that would be, be the debatable. hardest. That that'd be the Kid, hardest fight of Gojo's life. Like like Kid Goku might be it. debatable. Yeah. Um, because domain expansion might be able to finish it, but um, Luffy with no fruit. I'm pretty sure Luffy's still like innately strong without the devil fruit. Yeah, um, and again, the hockey thing matters because that's basically the. I'll put it to you like this, right? Shanks doesn't have a devil fruit, and he was able to become like, essentially. Oh yeah, he's a hockey yeah. man. Yeah, yeah he's right. a hockey man. Um, Same with Mihawk uh, also. Like, yeah, Naruto, Naruto with no Kurama. I mean, he still has have fucked on a chakra. He's probably cooking Gojo still. Naruto probably has a, a bunch of feats like Kurama lists that that would be better than Gojo physically. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. Um, Lethality, thank you for being a member for two months. Actually, Lethality, if you're right here, I want to do something. Uh, I, I, I spoke <laughs> to VR about it. Let's see if it works, man. Um, so this should be no no copyright. All right, let me know if it's too loud. It's gonna be quick. It's gonna be quick. But I just want to say, okay. Okay, it's loading. Mm-hmm. So sorry, this is a the ad block thing is making it a bit slower. <laughs> Dude, YouTube is killing. Come on, you're, you're killing this. Bro, you should you should have you should have set that up in advance. I know, I know, I know, I did. It, it's just taking this long still to do it. Like, it's like going through each ad and like fighting it okay. one by one by one. Okay, okay, <laughs> there we go. Okay, it should be playing. You guys should be hearing the music. <laughs> okay. Oh fucking shit. Bro. Okay. <laughs> Me. <laughs> I hope I hope they can hear it, man, because I should, I, I should care. Okay, you can't hear it. It's playing, it's playing. Uh, I don't okay. know if you have stream pulled up in a different window, but you can just, like, hold it up if you want to, like... Okay, go okay. ahead, go ahead. Do your thing. All right. Do your thing. Lethality. <clears throat> Made in Lethality, you have been a great help to BR and I on Elden Ring and uh, in this podcast recently. So it is with our uh, great honor, wink, that uh, we bestow upon you um, the rank of Honored One's moderator. Uh, w, w yeah. uniting. Woo. W uniting. Yep. Dude. Clapping, clapping. Um, welcome, yeah, welcome. Funny. You've joined the ranks of, of Liv, Landa, um, and my friend Troop. Uh, you know, it's you're you're in, <laughs> you're in good company. You're in good company. I mean, you're, you're actually, I mean, no shot at Landa, but yeah, no shot at Landa, but you know, you want to say something, bro? Because uh, you you want to get bro, some what Landa, Landa mean, jokes no off shot? or? Nah, Wait, what? I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. She hasn't slandered Bleach lately, at least not that I've seen. So lately, I'll yeah. Don't, don't worry. No. No. Just wait for, for like five minutes. Anyway, um, yeah. So congrats, Lethality. We appreciate you. Appreciate you. Um, yeah. Enjoy your knighthood. Yeah. I um, swear, if there's see. a copyright claim, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind, dude. That's sh- that shit said no copyright. All right. I'm yeah, choosing better to. Hope, better yeah. hope not. Better hope not. Better hope not. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah. Congrats again, Lethality. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. 
Um, M3, do you think with a five? Tell me if I'm tweaking, guys. But if Gojo is a ten on the strength scale, I still only have Yuta at a three or a four. Debate amongst most people on this. Um, you could have like a four. I would, I would just, I would just bump up the numbers up one, like a four or five. If we're talking about full power Gojo. Mm -hmm. I would say maybe he's like maybe he he's half or maybe forty percent of Gojo. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I just realized something. I don't think I actually read Lethality's <laughs> Lethality's chat. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired right now. Glad so many people are coming to After Dark. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Yes, guys. After Dark is banging. We just did a seven-hour Elden Ring stream last Thursday. Yeah, shit it's not fire. normal at all. I highly recommend it. It's yes, the most sir. normal thing, guys, yeah. you could ever consume. Bro, on some shamey shit, it's it's so normal. Like it's absolutely it's it's I'm normal. You know of of streams. I'm totally and utterly normal. normal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jaden does another thing with the five lethality. Actually got honored one t with music and everything. Good for them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lethality earned it um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah um, um let's see live lando we're sorry that we didn't have music for your uh uh you know knighthood christening thing i don't know what we're calling it christening bro i don't know <laughs> that it sounds cool i know what it is okay i know what a christening is christening, it just it just sounds crazy cool. uh knighthood ceremony what would you call it for shorthand i don't know a knighting bro yes a uh, knighting I thank you Sorry, like, most people said christening, bro. What, what's next? You want to call it a baptism? Like, what the I fuck was are we doing that here? was one of the options I rejected. Yes, in my oh, head. Jesus Christ. Um, pun and... intended, actually. Um, <laughs> but anyways, um, cool, cool, cool. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Do we get Elden Ring every week until you'll beat the game? Y'all doing breaks? Uh, hey, bro, I'm not gonna lie. I'd be tweaking the fuck out if we didn't yeah, do this shit every yeah, week. Yeah, no, honestly, we were just playing this before stream. Yeah, like actually, let's let's fucking let, like let me lock in. Let me just like show you guys a little bit peek behind the curtain, right? So BR and I, BR and I have found out that this game takes roughly uh, roughly a little over 100 hours to complete, right? If we were to do 10 hour streams every single time with perfect play, that would still take us 10 weeks of doing this. And I'll tell you what, chat. That we is, do not have perfect play. We do not have perfect we are, play. We, are, we, are, we do not have perfect play. All right. Um, that's yeah. We do not have perfect play. Also, so, lethality. Yeah. Since we're talking about Elden Ring real quick, um, first of all, I just opened the game because I'm a clearly an addict. Clearly, um, yes. Um, and second of all, um, I'd appreciate if you could tell me what the mood bill so it does. Besides, just like look cool and have a cool name. Um, but yeah. Anyways. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Liv and I got a here, congrats, <laughs> lol, wow. And you earned it, Randa. He, like, I don't know why you're knocking me. He, I... he, he said you earned the knighting that you got. That's crazy. <laughs> see, me personally, I was just gonna do it, like, you know, Kareem's, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give him credit, I'll give him credit where credit's due. Um, he said... He said lethality is my favorite mod. Oh my you know god! I mean? oh my he god. said he said I don't really I don't really rock with Liv and Landa that way, um, or at all actually. He said specifically Landa, and he said it's because it's February. Um, um, but anyways, you know, let's let's give lethality special treatment. That's what he said. Shit, that's what he told me before stream. Um, uh, but yeah. Uh, well, Landa, Landa just Landa just DM'd sure. me slandering me during Black History Month is crazy. By the way, I see your spirit. That's actually a. You might have to go to BR about that. He actually told me to slander you on air, so just that might be. Not, not true. Not true. Not true. That that DM might be um, needed to forwarded to be forwarded his way. Just saying. Like, I also no. don't get the February debuff. Um, as unfortunate <laughs> as that is for you. Um, How yeah. dare you, sir? It's a uh, March and February debuff. Who for you? Nobody. Uh, never, you, mind, never, you, mind, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Risky joke. Risky joke. Never. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, bro. Risky. Risky is one way to put it, bro. <laughs> Risky is one way to put it, bro. Yeah. What's um, next? You hate June too, man? Come on. What are we doing here? Um. Anyway, what were you asking uh, about Elden Ring? Oh, oh, just what the Moonville Sword does. Yeah. Oh, the one yeah. we got. Cool. Um, yeah. But anyways, uh, yeah. Elden Ring streams. Yeah, they're 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 happening. They're happening on at a weekly pace until mm -hmm. until we finish the game because we like it. If we didn't like it as much, probably wouldn't. But I'm enthralled. Yes, it has been exhilarating. Even. So, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, you guys, uh, the honored one, the honored ones after dark crew, y'all know what's up. Y'all fucking peep game and lock in with us. Um, yeah. literally, you peep the game and lock in. With us. Yeah, um, yep, so, yep. yeah, dude, I, I don't know, like when the game is officially beat in air quotes. I assume that's when the main story is concluded. But are we going yeah. for like a hundred percent run? Like, no, like we we've explored this every inch of this world. Is or? Insane, a hundred percent run my fucking ass. That's a no, um, I assume. Dude. A hundred percent, Chad. Give us an estimate on what a hundred percent of like a hundred percenting. You mean like getting all the trophies, doing all the all the bosses, all the everything's explored, all the, bosses, all the, all the sites yeah, of grace. Chad, let 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 us know what a hundred percent Elden Ring run. Not just beating the game, everything, every 
every inch of the map scoured. Like, bro, we did like what five bosses off stream, and none of them touched the main story. <laughs> of course we didn't, bro. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, um, Jaden thirty eleven, thank you for the five. Calm down on the racism oh and misogyny call out. Oh, we appreciate love you. to see it, but we don't want to repeat an uh, episode eighty one. The fuck happened episode eighty one? What? What, what did we do? He probably started crying. I actually remember it. I remember you started crying and tearing up on stream. You said, "Please don't call me out for my racism anymore. It hurts my feelings." Please, I um, just want to do. I just want to do bad behavior and get away with it. <laughs> that he admitted it. No, no, no. Oh, it, was it. it was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. Clip it. Clip it. Clip it. Clip it. Clip it. Chat. I will PayPal you point uh, five cents if you clip it and send it to me in two seconds. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> oh, lethality is answering you in, in the Discord, by the way. Oh, bet. Yeah. Right, hold on. I gotta pause the game. Let's see. Uh, all right, all right, cool, 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 cool. All right, what, what, what else? Um, what else for the chapter, bro? What, what else? What else are we thinking about the chapter? Um, I'm trying to think right now. Yeah, I just want to like put special attention on UG like doing the soul hits. Like mm. Sukuna's vibrating and shit, and I am a impressed by Sukuna's durability. I guess resisting that, but he is actively yeah. losing control, still maintaining the hold on um Hollow Wicker Basket. So for me, it's mm -hmm. both impressive for UG and for Sukuna. It does yeah. make me wonder, like, what is Sukuna using to resist, you know? Mm. Like, it's not a durability thing. Like, is he just clinching his soul very hard? Like, what's the, um... I, I guess what's, like, the... What's the thing that, like, like how many more of these can Sukuna take, I guess? Or does it scale yeah. to the amount of uh, output Yuji's giving? Like, the harder the punch, the harder the tremor type shit? Or is it just, like, happening outright? So I would like an elaboration I mean, on the soul part. I think I think if we if we look at how it happened with Maito, the harder he hit him, the harder his soul got hit. You know what I mean? Mm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So so I think Sukuna's got probably a few more in there. Um, I, I think there's like a perfect moment where Sukuna's still vibrating, and Yuta hits him with like a crazy technique, at least on one of his arms or something, just to break that, and uh, finally get the sure hit effect to work. Yeah. Yeah. Mets. Um, that Bro, would be a, very cool. A Utah domain amped uh, Jacob Slatter is gonna go crazy on Sukuna, dude. <laughs> dude, I, I fear, I fear that like if he gets hit by that, bro, in the state that he's in, it might he might just be cooked. Like just, just sure. It, unless he opens his own domain in response, he's just taking that. I don't know if he's got that in his bag, bro. Five hundred of my hours was absolutely spent just helping you. Five hundred. Vanilla co-op. Well, oh, okay. Shoot. Hold on, bro. Check, check, check to see, check to see what the the hundred percent hours look like, bro. Okay. What are those looking like? Um, shit. Did lethality? Okay, okay. No, that's not the, the group chat didn't uh, say anything. Yeah, let's see what the hundred percent thing is. How long? Two hundred percent. Oh, a hundred and thirty three hours to obtain a hundred percent completion. Roughly fifty eight and a half for the main objectives. Okay, so 133 hours, got yeah. you. Um, um, the thing is, right, 58 and a half hours is five 10 hour streams, or <laughs> five 10 hour streams is a fucking crazy way to measure it now that I say that out loud. But yeah, so like, say, let's say 10 two and a half hour streams, right? That's a bit, a bit more palatable. Um, mm -hmm. I think we could do that definitely. Uh, but I think we're gonna be closer to the 133 by the time, like, on and off stream combined. Again, with, yeah. with semi-perfect play. Yeah, I mean, I'm already at 30 hours, I think, total Same, yeah. in here. Um, so, you're telling me 20 more hours and I'm completing the game? I fear I don't believe you. Yeah. Or completing the main story? I fear I don't believe you. I mean, but the that also might just be because we're ass. Yeah, um, we're also not rushing to do the main stuff off, off stream, so. Yeah. Yeah. Or actually trying to do the opposite. Yeah. Um, so. so, yeah. Um, Sugar Sh uh, Shogun, thank you for the 8 W name. Mm -hmm. uh, please, I just want to do bad behavior and get away with it. Cream's 2024. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, All right. Let's 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 calm down. That's your first super chat? Was a Cream's <laughs> roast? Oh, my God, man. WWW. -W. Just so you know, I screenshot that and I put that in the files. Um, Jane 2000, let me give the five. Cream's don't make me remind you of the low brain input, high power racism, heavenly restriction, bro. <laughs> funny as shit to come out of me but i know it hit was this during the um like kk creams jjk crossover bit where people were like doing the jokes with jjk quotes was that what, was that what episode 81 was it might have been bro it might have been 
Yeah. Um, Those were calling it a crossover is clinically insane, by the way. <sighs> like actually, what would, it was it? My, what would you call it, dude? Not that a crossover. The, Jesus. Jesus, I don't know, man. Something, something about calling it a crossover is just like mind-boggling. But maybe I'm different. Uh huh. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm just different, bro. Maybe I'm just different. Also, bro, uh, Lethality wanted me to mention this, but I think we all got to update in the group chat where we're at because um, okay. she didn't know that we met with um, that guy that we gave the, the the one we went to today, the ogre guy that we that we gave the death thing to. For the, for yeah, the yeah, tals- yeah. yeah, so we gotta, gotcha. we gotta just update the group chat later. Okay. Um, okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. Is there anything else about the chapter you want to get off? Or? Um, nah, Yuda go to W, um, UG cool. You know, I like that Megami still kind of at the forefront of the strategy. It's mm-hmm. not just defeats you can, it's Megami retrieval. I like yeah. what I'm seeing. I like what I'm seeing. Definitely really sweet that, like, Gojo, for he meant that shit. He, he'll just worry about it later. That was not his problem, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they fucking unburdened him. That was his prep. Hey Gojo, we're doing everything we can to get you to not care about saving Megami. It's like yeah, we'll we'll, we'll handle that, bro. Yeah. Okay. It's like, yeah. So I can just beat his ass however yeah. I want. Yeah. Do you think Sukuna has his hair down so he looks like Toji to make me fight even harder? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To make me fight even harder is actually insane, bro. Yeah, bro. Oh, gee, you're making it easy on me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like. Damn, Wait bro. a minute, lethality. What the fuck does your message mean right now? What the fuck is going on? You know, I'm gonna ignore that one. Wait, personally, I mean, the cutest femboy in history versus the most racist man of today. Hey, man, it, I, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know who, who your opponent is. I'm gonna be real, but I don't know, bro. Hey, man, w, w for them, W for them, I guess. I mean, it just sounds like it might be somebody in the room with us right now. It's fine. It's, it's you know, hey, we'll, we'll good thing we're not in the same room. For real <laughs> w. W analysis, you're right, bro. W analysis. Um, w analysis. Uh, Jaden 2011, um, thank you for the five. No, it was specifically episode 81, the podcast. I What does IRC mean again? If I remember correctly. If I remember correctly. Ronan even followed it up with a lay, with like a layup. It was great. I'm glad you had fun, Jaden. Hey. I'm, glad, I'm glad that hey, brought bro, we must, a smile we must, to your face. We must face. have been in sync, man. We must have been in sync. I love when that happens. <sighs> I love when that happens. But chat, I think I'm going to chill out on those. Not to be nice to creams, but I think to hone my craft. Oh, my God. I was telling Liv this earlier, right? But I think about it like this. I've been relying on a very, very simple weapon in my arsenal, right? I've been going to the same move, if you will. Been 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 leaning in on my direct shot. But I'm thinking, you know what? Direct shot merchant. Let me develop some of my other abilities. You know what I mean? Let me get a lefty shot. Let me, let me, let me, let me get a curveball into the goal. You know what I mean? Like, I have to practice my craft. And in order to do that, I have to relinquish some of the weapons that I hold dear. So... I think I think I'm gonna make a concerted effort to cook creams, With using slightly grace. different bits at times. You know what I mean? God, dude. Um, I think I think you know maybe I'll focus on how short he is. You know what I mean? Or the uh, fact that like he can't catch his breath. Like you know things yeah. things oh, a little bit different. You already fucking did that, you asshole! You, I saw the ratio you gave me on Twitter, bro. All I I made yeah, one I fucking said, Kashimo I like, joke. I, I made thing, one I Kashimo made, joke. See, here's the thing, right? It would have been real simple to say you're racist and move on, right? But that's too easy. I'm not practicing my game anymore, bro. I'm not getting better at what I love. I had to get creative, right? I had to, I had to think. Hmm. That tweet got over a hundred likes. I am going to record and ma- and jot down every single one of you that liked that tweet. Chat, don't be scared. He will pass out before he can make you face the consequences. Oh See, that's what I mean, man. Ugh. Thinking on my feet, getting new types of roasts in here, man. Like, I haven't even I haven't even spammed calling you littlest bro, tiniest bro, microscopic bro. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, I haven't. I gotta. I gotta practice on my game, man. My bag is really shallow right now. My bag is really shallow right now, and that's on me. That's on me. So, so Chad, I'm making a promise to you right now. I'm gonna work on extending my cooking bag. Man, that's so odd. I just realized all of our mods are, um, like, their names start with an L on some Superman shit. <laughs> is that even the case? Yeah, Liv, Landa, uh, Lethality. Those all are mods. Oh, and Troop, yeah. That's true. I gotta, I gotta get him to change his name. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Double, damn near double your likes, bro. Oh, that's a W. I hate you. See, chat. That's what happens. When <sighs> you increase the bag. See, I've been going to the same, the same off the left bait. Like, let me, let me hit you with the hezzy tween. You know what I mean? Well, you don't get any of that. Whatever. Let me, let me, let me uh, behind the back into a pull up. You know what I mean? Let's, 
Let's expand the repertoire a little bit. Let's expand the repertoire a little bit. Subatomic bro? Yes, <laughs> subatomic bro. That's a W. Anyway, um, I... Single cell, bro. That's crazy. I think I'm going to give this chapter a solid 10 for me. I thoroughly enjoyed yeah, I'm gonna, it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this a 10. Amoeba-sized, bro. W. <laughs> um yeah 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 that, a great great chapter great chapter mm -hmm. great chapter um, um yeah everybody um appreciates you all uh live thank you for the thumbnail lethality you know congratulations again we appreciate you for literally mm -hmm. all the stuff you do um the timestamps, the fan art um the um the elden ring tutoring <laughs> <laughs> yeah thank you um thank you thank you and everybody in chat everybody that's a member appreciate mm -hmm. you guys as well um you know thank you guys hope you guys have a, a nice rest of your day enjoy the super um, bowl if you, are if you celebrate fan, that yeah if you observe if you celebrate that dude if you Jesus. if you observe the you're, super bowl. you're so detached from like i think reality man it's actually kind of <laughs> wild if you celebrate that all right um anyways chat i hope you have a good a good rest of your day um have we'll, a good one. Yeah. Um, after Dark members, we will see you on Thursday. So, yep. yeah. Um.